Then officially, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, for the new level experience. We have a level one character that skipped the campaign. There is no season four theme, but we have Helltide. We have new minions, right? We, we, can, we can start leveling as a new summoner necro now with the very strong minions. And especially what we can straight up do is we get a Helltide going here for... 48 minutes so i'm going to teleport straight up to gear cool down here and we're going to begin the leveling in the hell tide and what i'm i i don't know can i open living steel chests in world tier 2 am i going to get living steel early now because that seems that seems crazy i could gather all the living steel while leveling to then as soon as i'm world tier 4 go crazy so we're going to get bone splinters for now for the start. We're going to get bone spear for the start. We're going to get food flash. Then we're going to get corpse explosion. And we're going to straight up essence and boost the minions. Right? Then we got minions, bone spear, corpse explosion, and bone splinters. Just to, just to start the thing. And our minions are just skeletal warriors. The, the hell tide is usually over your level, right? No, they're level one, actually, huh? I thought they're going to be like maybe over your level. That's the hell tide straight away. That's our first level. That was quick. Uh, we get our first uh, treasure goblin straight away. That was quick. Uh, hell tide harbinger. Honestly, leveling in hell tide, I like, yes. Yes. I am. I am quite excited. Okay, finish folio instead of the shield. A new level, making the warrior stronger. Not getting decrepify because that's quite useless in the beginning. Uh, now we can't make the mages stronger yet. We would need to... Probably, yeah, more corpses. Oh, doomsayers, yeah, talk to them. Oh, that was a lot of cinders just for killing a freaking thingy? Okay, wait, is there a living steel chest? I don't see a living steel chest. I only see the torture chest of mysteries. So can it be that there is no living steel chest in the lower? I mean, can it be that we just don't have, uh, we need corpse interaction for more essence right now. Book of the dead. We can make our skill to worry us do super crits if we want to summon them. Any chance of doing a pure, pure corpse explosion build? Yes, I mean, you can take the nuclear necromancer that we have already from last season and you can make him into a pure corpse explosion build. That is absolutely possible. Uh, and and actually, like, like something you should you should generally think about uh, because it's going to be... Uh, everyone is a necro. <laughs> because it's going to be, like, super, super, super duper giga strong. How much does a chest cost? Chest costs 100 cinders. Okay, I, I need to get away from these nerds here because they're kind of, like... Uh, blocking my progress. So it's definitely possible, but I think for leveling, you need to play minions. If you're not playing minions for leveling, you're just doing a mistake. They they buff minions so much, and I mean, they get 100% of your stats. That it should be insane. And right now, we're going to be tracking level process, how fast you're actually tra uh, leveling. Uh, we're looking at uh, item pickups, because right now, uh, the loot is way less in lower world tier. Like, I'm, I'm barely getting anything together, right? I haven't seen a single yellow item yet. But being able to level on a Helltide... I'll say that's an that's a interesting experience. For sure. We've been playing this game for less than a week. Yeah, we're currently on the public test realm, so this is not the... A game you can play right now, right? If you if you want to learn the game, we're essentially playing on the public test realm to try out all the new season four changes. Uh, this higher. Boop 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 boom. Corpse explosion is so silly for leveling. When I mean, especially here in the Helltide, right? I, I hit one minion, then I kill everything. Oh, we have the we have the quests too. I, I completely forget that we have the Helltide Whispers. 
Yes, look at that. I mean, Helltide Whispers is Slay Demons and Slay Fallen. But um, Helltide Whispers done, Chan. Ha, 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 ha. That is quite, quite telling. We can open our first chest very soon. That is very good. I feel like we're getting less cinders right now, which is a bit weird. Have you seen season four data mine iron wolf's theme the caches uh, have boss mats in them yeah so i i have not seen the data mine but we we have seen the wolf experience so i've seen that we're getting the iron wolf experience and i don't know what that is or what that was but i the assumption was that getting some iron wolf stuff would probably somehow translate to the seasonal theme Oh, finally, a yellow item. Yellow item only has two stats now. Maximum life and life per second. Ooh, life per second. Yes, the new stats are actually insane. I didn't think about it. But that is incredible. Jeez, my minions are dying. I mean, this is good experience here. Don't get me wrong. But my poor minions are dying. At least in the early world tier. I mean, they're getting 100% of my stats and I don't have stats, right? So that, that's something to consider right now. Like in it later when your character is high level, uh, minions get your stats here. I just got Wolf's Honor in case you missed him. So we, we just got Wolf's Honor. Is this PDR? Yes, we're doing currently PTR leveling to try out how is the new leveling because you have items with only two stats. I mean, look at this. These are the new magic items we're getting, but they have really interesting. So this is the new magic items, but they have really interesting affixes and so on because the affixes way harder are stronger. And that could make a significant difference if you think about it, because I get life per second now on my chest. That seems that seems not important, but I kind of think life per second is quite, quite freaking cool. Raven is Soul Spire. I probably can't do that one very long because I'll just die. Right, I gotta think about this. But we're live now for seven minutes. In seven minutes, we've made it to level nine so far. That's quick as hell. I mean, like these these Helltide beacons here, they are they are experience galore. I mean, look at that. We're we're just standing here. Sure, I mean, I'm I'm taking some damage. I need to I need to now dish out. But just from an experience standpoint, from from getting this boosted up, damn son. Okay, gloves give me maximum life and attack speed, and that eight percent is actually good for me and the minions. Uh, we get we're gonna have this do vulnerable. Now let me open one chest. This is my first torture chest of mysteries. That's a huge XP boost and I'm getting obolts plus a ring. I was hoping for more. That was quite disappointing loot. <laughs> right? I mean, it was only one box, but still like a bit, bit lackluster. What can I say? I was expecting more. Hey, my, my hellmark meter though is up soon so that's gonna be cool uh let's do the let's do the world event because i want to check if i if i get uh, materials by the way i did not get materials ladies and gentlemen because that was that was our question if we would be getting materials as we pick up the chest but it doesn't seem like we're getting materials Severn Necro is super fun. Severn Necro is super fun. And you know what? For leveling, it might actually be better to take Sever over Bone Spear. So if you would actually decide to take... Um, Sever over Bone Spear, you probably have a, a better time. Simply... Oh, shit, shit, shit. Ow, 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 ow. Simply because Sever actually scales with your minions and it's a good attack. So that's that's a good point you're making that sever might be better I, I like your i like your way of thinking 
poor leveling. I mean, usually I would go for Bone Spear, but we have four minions out currently, so our Sever is already getting an 8% um, boost. So it should make Sever one hit everything. It's actually interesting thought. Especially when we get minions, so things are going to be nice. And we're soon going to be Helmart. I picked up the wrong Sever. I'm an idiot. This is Sever makes vulnerable, not bonus damage. Right? Pony, you little idiot. Even if you're not planning to boost Sever with any, with any like bonus skill, Sever is still going to do more damage than Bone Spear, essentially. I, f I feel that Blood Surge is better than Tendrils. For what? I mean, like, like, in, in, like, for what? A weird comparison. Blood Surge is better than Tendrils. I mean, one is a core skill. The other one is a support utility skill. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure what you're, what you're comparing there, you know? A blood surge is fantastic for leveling. Yes, too. When you could definitely play, oh, we got reapers or more corpses. That's going to be good. Interestingly enough, I could, from level one on, find an item. And if I have enough Veiled Crystals, enchant here Wolf's Honor. We get it again. And enchant a cool Dominion on it. That's Pans. They got Intelligence. What? They got 200 armor plus? Dude! Those, those new stats, I mean, less stats, but new stats are, are kicking in quite heavy. Holy. Uh, we got, like, like, for some to make vulnerable. Uh, what do you think will be the best Necro S4 build? Uh, we already released our minion build that is so strong, it's kind of crazy. Right now, I think Shadow will be the strongest, like an Infinity Mist Shadow build, simply because um, Shadow has just the most incredible scaling as of right now. Um, with all the augments and tinkering and everything. It, but we will have to wait for season four because season four is going to give us seasonal mechanic and that seasonal mechanic will have even more to offer. So even more shenanigans, shebangs, like whatever there is to come uh, before we can say what truly will be strong or not. Is PTR PC only? Yes, PTR is PC only, but not only PC only, it's only Battle.net. So if you have the game on Steam, then I am sorry to tell you this, but you won't be able to actually play the PTRs. So that's, that's, uh, sorry. Okay, now we're getting attacked by the forces of hell, guys. We're hell marked while leveling. Let's see how, how, how much of a challenge that is. Hell marked while leveling. Still better. I mean, as a Necro, this is like really easy to take care of because I just, I just have them all gathered up and then I ex corpse explosion them all together. So, so that's kind of nice currently, right? Not much of a challenge they're putting up, but let's see how the actual, um, yeah, there, there he comes. That is the... Hellborn boss. Nah, he's he's doable. Doable. I thought he's gonna be a bit more scary, but not so. Okay, fantastic. And he's dropping quite some items, so that's cool. Yeah, Helltide leveling is the best, honestly. This makes me this makes me very happy right now. Did I have, I had, I have both, um, 
I have both done. So both whisper quests in the Helltide are done. It means I have to go for the next Helltide part to do the whisper quest there too. Oh, more enemies. How do you find a cool dominion? Uh, we're talking about the skeletal priest effectiveness or the double skeletons. Because the skeletal priest effectiveness being over to you is insane. It works so good. I mean, it's now part of every of my summoner builds because just simply having a heal, having a heal and a damage buff is just, it's just, that's, that's brain dead, you know? Because you're gonna be empowering your minions anyways with your priest the whole time. So why, why would you not reap the benefits of that empowerment as well, right? Kind of like a, a literal no-brainer to, to, to equip that since, since yeah, you're going to empower your dudes anyways. Okay, we're soon 15, then we get the scale to mages. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Triple loot. Uh, maximum life resource cost reduction life per hit and damage Sh cool i mean this is this is shaping up quite nicely with the with the quest that you can pick up everything yeah I mean, it, it will be a hard decision i mean if we have helltide leveling and new seasonal mechanic leveling that that is going to be something harsh to decide what you want to do because both things seem incredible fun right now. I mean, the Helltide leveling, especially when you're using a potion or when you're having your friends with you, I think the chest should be giving you probably bonus XP on that too, right? Scrumjack, hope you're having a good morning. I'm having a fantastic morning, my friend. And it's Friday. Tomorrow is supposed to be very nice sunshine, so we can be getting some stuff done around the house. And all in all, just have a have a relaxing weekend day. Okay, make a little fire. I'm not used to my thingy being so oh tempering is from level 15 on. Ah. So now, now that I'm 15, I could start tempering. We get skeleton mages, and they instantly are giving us more shadow. Uh, they are giving us another damage multiplier, right? Because that's what you're getting, right? You're instantly getting another damage multiplier. Let's move on to the next area to do the quest. My 15 has been faster reached than ever. Oh, well, hell tight boss. Let's see how that goes. We need to turn the shadow mages into ice mages, though. It'll seem hell tight boss. Oh, it's the blood bear, dude. He's getting torched. Holy. Minions! Winions! I hate to say winions, but what can I what can I say? Chan. They put the W in minions again. No, don't let him escape! Ooh, ooh, my first, my first unique. Okay, that has still, ah, uh, that has three stats straight away. Okay, so the triple stats on, on items is, is stays, even though, so every, every legendary has that. Cool. You're rogue? Yeah, but even as a rogue, you can be doing that Helltide leveling, right? So, so... When Helltide leveling is a universal thing, that the level experience is now going to be just just very nice. And I, I wouldn't mind sitting in the Helltide uh, until I'm World Tier Three. Then in World Tier Three, uh, you can you can do 
uh, start doing nightmare dungeons slowly then in world tier 4 at the beginning you can do hell tides again but especially because hell tides are actually fun now right that's army of the dead already so my, so my build is getting getting like the completionist status so fast beautiful I don't know how good rogues have it this update i'm honest with you when i know barbarians have it good already again surprise <laughs> neckers are better than ever so we get the we get the big w2 uh I, I don't know how like how the other classes are actually faring i i, I saw a lot of ice ball work so the the big talk about ice balls seemed to have worked Minions are always good in early levels. Yes, minions have always been good in early levels, but they're actually like like now better than ever, right? I mean, I could probably go to the PvP boss and just shit all over him. Because that, that, that's the thing, right? Like, so so the PvP boss in the PvP area, I usually do that one for, for Whisper XP, but I could probably like poop over him now faster than ever. Dust Devils is OP. I mean, they, they wanted Dust Devils to be OP, but Dust Devils literally blanketing the whole screen. So I, I've seen people that play Dust Devils, right? And it, it's it's literally like that the whole screen is is only Dust Devils. I, I don't I don't believe they intended it that way, probably. Right? That's a struggle in endgame. Totally disagree. Necker is so amazing in endgame right now. But we're still missing a defensive ability. That that hasn't changed, right? So so see like we, we will also make like a season four necro um where we wrap up everything the necro does and what for changes are still missing and everything. So like kind of like the state of necro. Um, and I'll send that to Blizzard too. So, so like the state of Necro and written up and everything. Uh, so, so Blizzard can see what, what we think or what I think, hopefully. And, uh, wait, we should be doing, um, thinking about like, do I want the crit chance in the beginning? The crit chance doesn't seem to be what I would need when I'm leveling. Well, most likely just make corpse explosion bigger and better. Performance problems. I mean, if you are, if you're playing dust devils and dust devils are lagging the whole screen, then I can imagine, yes, that you're having performance problems. Right? Looks more fun than ever though. Yes, the game is in a very fun state. That's for sure. And if we're adding now a season four mechanic on top of that, I do believe like I'm, I'm like, like, let's not talk about long time enjoyment again. Okay. So, so let's not look at this as, as someone who plays this game a lot. So from a casual player's perspective, I think the whole update is like the biggest W ever. Um, the tempering mechanic is relatively easy to understand. It's not like super complicated to dig yourself in. Sure. There's some pitfalls and, um, like to, to figure out which ones are the best tempers and whatever. But but like generally the tempering is easy to understand. I think the master working might still be a big confusion to people at times. Uh, you can get baneful hearts. That's insane. I wasn't aware that we could get baneful hearts this early. That's crazy. Yeah, the, the master working might still come, come a bit with, with the confusion, uh, mainly because people haven't tried it out, but I think it's also relatively natural. What people have to get used to is that they can break items. So I think this is like the biggest problem right now. Uh, to get used to that, you can break an item, right? You could you could literally ruin an item. You you could you could temper uh, you could temper wrong, and then then you have to throw the item in the trash. That can happen. What tier are you on? I'm tier two right now. Okay. Uh, you start with tier two. Uh, but Helltide is now in tier two. This is the PTR. So this is the patch test realm, the public test realm. And we're currently trying out the new leveling uh, with season four and how it will be. 
and held tight is actually in from the very beginning of the game now which i personally find very cool and i think it's a it's a fantastic change because the held tight especially the new held tight is quite fun to play uh and you you kind of have leveling with a goal because right now i'm essentially leveling right i'm, I'm having fun leveling but I'm also looking to open up these chests. So I'm essentially gathering Baneful Hearts because yes, you can gather Baneful Hearts here already. I wouldn't use them, but opening these chests just gave me a Baneful Heart. And the Baneful Hearts later can be used to summon the Queen of the Helltide. That means that right now I can already work towards World Tier 4, right? I can, I can, I can get everything I want to. As we should. Because it's pretty, pretty damn cool to be able to work towards a certain direction. Okay, let's just sell, sell everything. You don't want that. Inventory full. Spaghetti, spaghetti. We could go to an occultist to straight up enchant things. But you probably wouldn't have the Veiled Crystals to do that. So I'm not going to enchant anything right now, right away. I cannot do that here. The Veiled Crystal cost ruins your experience. That is, that's a valid point. Valid feedback. Valid upset. All, all, all correct. That you wouldn't, that, that you, that you have a problem with the Veiled Crystal cost makes sense. But that is feedback you have to give them, right? Like it's it's important that we're open that we go into the pdr forum that we're not whining in the pdr forum like way too many people are doing right now like seriously i mean just just today i got a comment on youtube that people are complaining too much like i i literally had like some feedback on the tormented bosses and how they're like how there's some issues with them right and people were like me 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 stop whining but it's like sir sir this is called feedback when you're when you're telling why something is bad and give reasonable reasons you know why it's bad it's not called whining that's called feedback saying something is bad and then not further iterating that is that is that is bad and whining oh there he is the hellborn i'm still surprised at how easy he is to kill by the way, chat, we are 27 minutes in and we are currently level 19. Progress. With level 25, we're going to get our golem. And we can face the basic skill out and essentially play the golem because we don't need the curse. Uh, let's activate this chest here. Yeah, how dare you deprive feedback with a PDR? Like, some people just really want to roll over and accept everything, which is okay. Like, if they, if this is what you're doing, right? If, if you want to just um, accept all the changes without trying to actively make the game better. That's a choice you can you can take. And I'm not offended by it. But please, please let us, let us provide proper feedback, right? I mean, Blizzard, Blizzard needs to hear some voices we can make season four truly extraordinary i mean because this is what we have to live with right this is this is the very important notion to not forget the things that get decided this season the things that get decided during this pdr is more or less what we have to live with in the next season I need more time. Uh, I feel like uh, not stop traveling for towns or traveling for hell type quests. Uh, I've, uh, you could have gotten one level per minute. No, 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 no. You, you need to, you need to travel a bit. I mean, the enemy density is also good at this point. Um, they, oh, someone is summoning the, the queen. Please. Really? You're summoning the queen? Okay, that's going to be clutch. Uh, I think the level progress is good. I mean, 27, 29 minutes as a solo player without anyone with you. Uh, that's incredible. I mean, usually it's, what was it? Two hours to World Tier 3? Yeah, it's usually two hours to World Tier 3. 
and we're looking more or less like um under like like un like one hour to world tier three one hour 20 maybe Something like that i mean yes leveling will slow down given time soon still though Helltide has summons now as well as Blood Harvest. Yes, Helltide has a danger meter. You can see that up there. It's the Hellmark meter. And uh, if you have enough... Uh, how do I put this now? If you produce enough danger, then you're going to get attacked by the forces of Hell, which are angry for you. And in the middle, you have the Queen of the Helltide. Uh, these are Sukabi, And you can kill them. They will drop boss materials, which is kind of cool. They also provide quite the substantial challenge because they summon these Helltide Disciples which is actually quite quite strong and well she is a challenge so she's not a pushover she is quite the significant formidable opponent which is actually the way how it should be in my eyes because why why would i want a helltide boss that's a that's a pushover so that that's actually really really cool and you Kill her for banger loot and generally good experience here. I mean, like it's it's just a fun. Fi oh my goodness, that fire! It's a fun fight. You're you're getting a lot of cinders from this as well. I mean, we're we're doing this currently in World Tier One, and I actually thought this is going to be harder because later in World Tier Four, she is actually quite quite the same thing. Pull these nerds together again. Done. Where, where's the lady? We've got her chat so overall like like the queen of the hell tide is an a, a plus plus experience boom and it, it's also very important it's a, a quest a what was it called again a whisper get a dagger dagger in a folio delta mage is bone unlocked right now we get two more rings these two more rings More crit, Hellbend Commander, straight up 15% damage boost. I mean, as we're actually standing close to our minions, it makes sense to take this. And the best part is about like all these events um, that you are essentially working on your Hellmark meter to move this. Oh, almost put my heart in. Uh, you're working on the Hellmark meter to push this further forward. Uh, by the way, two levels, guys. We're just level 20, now we're 22 right we were just level 20 now we are 22. move in very quickly now i need to finish more of these helltide generals because currently i'm doing this one where i need to slay two more harbingers So, oh, there's uh, there's the scorpion of the hell type. So what I would like to know is if I could get under one hour to world tier X, right? Because right now we are 33 minutes in. I mean, with level 35, I would probably attempt. I mean, I've gotten stronger than ever. So I'd say with level 35, you would probably attempt to to get to the well tier three yeah should be possible with the new affixes one problem i see is that we are actually not having only legendary gear because this is something to look at right now we we're we're having like only yellow gear pieces right and you know that yellow gear pieces are when I mean, they stink i stank it's truly something to look at Since you're missing like one stand. Someone dropped all these items. Someone dropped all these items. That was higher level than me. Or I'm, I'm wondering why I'm picking up 32 items. 
Yeah, rare stinks. So rares are essentially now just for the level experience, but like making rares two stat items, I I don't I don't know if that's the way to go. I think rares could also be three stat items. I mean, like right now you're picking up a rare and they're essentially completely like, why do you even exist? Like that that's your main question. You pick up a rare and you're like, why do you exist? By the way, here one one more speciality of the health hike, correct? We can now do the um we can now do these bacons here and the beacon is going to be summoning tons of monsters that are going to be attacking me while my minions are getting torched by the hellfire sadly and we are we're essentially just surviving here just a little friendly survival and we're getting essentially swarmed by minions this is why i think that also the health tide density doesn't have to be increased because if you want an increased health tide density you, you are literally just going to play this here. Right? Season 3 mechanic thing. Yes, they, they definitely took a lot from Season 3 and Season 2 together to make the new Helltide extraordinary. And that's all I ever wanted. I mean, you, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Like, like Season 3 mechanics and Season 2 mechanics were great. And Helltide is a permanent thingy. So, like, they, they did exactly what I wanted them to do. They made the Helltide better than ever. They made Helltide finally something valuable and and fun to play. That that is a varied activity, correct? So you can you can do you can do this and you can do that in the Helltide, but it's never just like, okay, I'm gonna be just killing minions and I'm just gonna get my cinders. Now you get the Hellmark meter and you can summon the boss and you can get the Baneful Hearts and there's the Doomsayers and there's the secret hidden Doomsayer chest in case you don't know there's a secret cool hidden Doomsayer chest as well. So th there's there's like so many layers to Helltide right now. Um, that's just plain fantastic. You know what we should get? The armor and the elemental resistance. So our minions don't die that early, probably. And the season four release 14th of may so it's still quite some in but that doesn't mean that we can't already test all the things like right that we that we can't efficiently prepare uh right now like it's about testing the like to, today's plan is to test the level mechanic so we are able to give a comprehensive feedback for blizzard um is this fun is this good do rare items feel like it because right now as i said like my, my main concern is that i might have rare items correct but I kind of don't want to put aspects on the rare items. Why? Because they're only two, two stat items, correct? I mean, as soon as I pick up a legendary, I'm going to replace any, any rare item I have. Which means that they're really just placeholders. I mean, usually when you think about doing the capstone dungeon, what you would do for the capstone dungeon is you would um, take your rare gear and you would enchant it and turn your rare gear into into ancestral or, or like, like legendary gear and your legendary gear would then hopefully provide you with uh, the boost you need to be able to finish the helltide add to, to finish the capstone dungeon but that's kind of like not happening because i don't see a reason to enchant rare gear i'm going to throw away which build are we running today well we're running the the leveling necro and the leveling necro is a combination of shadow army of the dead and all these things uh we're gonna pick up the like after this thingy here we're gonna pick up the golem so then we're gonna make our level 25 golem by the way chat our hell mark is going down so we're actually doing a world event while at the same time we're being hell marked so we're being attacked by the forces of hell while doing the the, the world event that's crazy so yeah we're doing a uh, like a shadow level necro kind of mix and the main reason is that sever is just brain dead so i have seven minions right now seven minions is another 14 percent multiplicative damage increase for sever and that's often where where i tend to say that sever is just so great for leveling because it's just one one ability that can crit incredibly high right and you you just boost it automatically by existing i mean i exist so it's boosted <laughs> Did you pair that together with the new minions? Well, you see what's happening. No mercy, ladies and gents. No goddamn mercy. Everything just being destroyed. Okay, let's open the next hell hiding chest on the right. Oh. Hmm. 
And then you use your corpse explosion to essentially re-essence. And then you're going to kill everything. And use your corpse explosion to re-essence. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Appreciate it. Uh, yellow Squid come with two stats, but 1.5 times value. I mean, the value is already insane right now. The the stat, like like here, you I got 200 armor or so on one item, which was actually quite incredible. So generally, the stats are already high on items. Oh, that's Kellen's Attic. That's great. So so the stats the stats are already good on items. It's not like they're not. Okay. Uh, let's teleport now to Kovachan because we need to do the necromancer thingy. How oh, do you unlock Helltide at World Tier 2? That's normal. Helltide is unlocked on World Tier 2 in Season 4. So Helltide is now a fixed part of your leveling experience in, in the test realm and in World Tier 4. So for the for the future... Oh, the temper manuals. I forgot. By the way, these are low-level temper manuals, Chad. As you can see. So if I would now think about tempering an item because I have something already, um, I would take essentially the blue temper manuals, the, the lower temper manuals you have. Um, not sure how I feel about like these these low level temper manuals, if they if they feel worth it or not. not while I'm in town. Instead of these veil crystals, yeah, yellows are only in for veil crystal farm. That's like my problem right now. So so magic items magic items only exist that we can turn magic items into veil crystals magic items don't exist because they 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 have a reason to exist right they're exciting by the way let's boost my crit chance we can get our crit chance very early up to we're i'm, I'm at 11 percent already and my minions are essentially at over 20 percent that's that's nice let's get the golem I mean, we are at 42 minutes and level 26. Jeez. I mean, my earliest into World Tier 3 was two hours. Chan. The world record for World Tier 3 as a Necromancer was something around one hour and 55. Uh, I think that one will be easy to beat. I mean, right now, if we're looking at our level progress, I'd say like another 30 to 40 minutes. Maybe I'm overestimating my own power. Who knows? I'm not ready yet. They still didn't they still didn't fix this quest. What is there to fix about this quest? Well, there's just not enough minion spawns, so you essentially are killing everything. Right? But then you're you're like you gotta go back and wait for the respawn and then you can kill things again. Some of these very annoying things, like right, like we, we we haven't done it yet. We need to wait for the respawn, and then we can we finally get some more. Very good. Please will do. You need the essence of life. Annoying quest. To transform your golem. There is a um I still don't know how the legendary affixes will work. So legendary affixes will work following. If you now, if I disenchant this item here right now, this is the new Codex of Power. So this is a 28% and a 36%. It's almost max roll. This one here is almost max roll as well. So if I would disenchant that right now, it would update my Codex of Power. And from that point on, the affix will always be that. Okay. So if I then enchant it out of the Codex of Powers, uh, like, like it will be that level. And that's forever. Doesn't PTR have a flat 50% XP? No, 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 no. You're wrong, Hornet. Um, what PTR has is uh, currently the the normal the normal XP in World Tier 2 and World Tier 3 and World Tier 4. So these XPs got hired. I know a lot of people thought this was meant for PTR, but it's meant in general. So World Tier 4 gives now instead of 20... Uh, World Tier 2 gives instead of 20%, 50% more XP. 
Then World Tier 3 instead of 100% more HP gives 150% more HP, which is a lot because it multiplies kind of with all the other bonus XPs. And then World Tier 4 instead of 200% bonus XP gives 250% bonus XP. Now that bonus 50% doesn't sound like a lot, but if you actually think about it, that bonus 50% is quite something. Because the bonus 50% means that you're from that point on having 250x whatever your potion has, x whatever your teammates, like when you have a teammate with you, x uh, whatever seasonal multiplier is. So because the, the XP the XP bonuses, they, they multiply with each other. Right? Uh, amulets. Usually going for like a boost to amulets because legendary amulets are so cool. Right? That was level 27 already. My minions are having all the crit chance in the world. Now back to the Helltide. I mean, it's only three more minutes, but... Oh shit, I forget to do Slay the Demons and the Sormers there. Hmm. Like the Helltide regardless. Helltides are the new best leveling, right? It seems, Lillian, that Helltide is just incredible leveling because of the enemy density and everything you can do. Now, we don't know what the new seasonal mechanic is. I mean, like so far in season four, we had a seasonal area to level. In season two, we had a seasonal area to level. Uh, in season three and season two, we had a seasonal area to level. In season one, for example, there were the malignant tunnels, but the malignant tunnels weren't even good for leveling. So, so doing malignant tunnels as a level experience wasn't in. Whereas doing Helltide as a level experience is definitely is definitely in. And especially with the crazy elite density you're having, the same thing to not forget, because Helltide has like a very high elite density in general. When you have minions, right, and then and then these Helltide harbingers are coming, like the 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 general boost of of what you can get in a Helltide is uh, quite significant. I mean, and now we have a Golem too, which also works together with my damage boost. Can you summon these? Do you have it already? I was hoping he had it already. He doesn't though, sadly. Oh, wayward soul perfection how's the survivability hardcore playable survivability is great i mean like if you want to play hardcore play hardcore but i i don't play hardcore so i i think the survivability is great right now it's fantastic uh, i mean like i haven't been even at the brink of dying at all right in the end game too depending on what you're actually planning to do in the end game um yeah i j just don't play hardcore No find interesting. Done. The cell tide is gonna end in a second. Before the cell tide ends, I'm currently going for the uh, PvP boss now to actually get my bonus whispers. Let's ignore everything in the hell tide. Let's run for the bonus whisper so we can get like a huge experience boost. Ravage corpse. Ulti is overkill during leveling. No, if I find, uh, if, if you fight any boss, it's actually nice. Uh, also, you have to consider that Army of the Dead has a relatively nice cooldown, but it's not about the Army of the Dead nice cooldown. The, the good thing about Army of the Dead is that it provides tons of corpses. And corpses are essence, corpses are minions, corpses are life for a necro. Uh, and, and the Army of the Dead resummons all your minions. So if I would run out of minions for what reason ever, Okay, now Helltide is gone for five minutes, and then we go for the next Helltide. Um, if, if I would ever lose my minions for what reason, I could just jam this to actually resummon all the minions. I need time to right? There's going to be many hardcore players who cry because they don't have the cheat death potion. Uh, yes, which makes no sense, but yes. Do you think rune words will come back this season? No, rune words are very far out if they ever come. 
if they ever come but they're way they're far 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 out i mean they basically like how do i say this now right like they they haven't even figured out gems because gems feel a little bit useless right they need to rework gems in a way because right now they just feel sad um they haven't they haven't even figured out aspects or they just recently more or less figured out aspects so there are so many things of the base game to still figure out right to get to a good level before they could think about like a complicated system like rune words i mean all the seasonal mechanics have been rather simple so far some vampiric powers which was actually okay that was kind of something um then you had the the malignant hearts which was kind of failure uh, we had the Seneschal Companion, which was okay in a concept, but uh, like also had its problems in terms of just being completely overpowered <laughs> with certain things going on together, right? So, so yeah, um, the Rune Words would be something that's, that's future music, essentially. Any leaks that you know of Season 4, there, there seem to be leaks already, uh, and they actually have something in the game so so like you you if you have seen it already if you actually finish a helltide quest if you finish a helltide world event you get this pop-up which says uh wolf xp or something wolf faction gained so there seems to be a faction in the game uh that you can gain reputation for in season four or there's going to be an event coming but yeah it, like there was some data mine about it already there seems to be some some kind of faction and that faction will grant you loot so interesting so to say unlock the blood golem not sure if i actually do want the blood golem but it would be damage reduction so that wouldn't hurt yeah wolf's honor exactly that's what i was talking about the wolf's honor uh that pop-up everyone should have seen already let's make our minions Yeah, there seems to be loot offering factions or something like that. I mean, we, we, we truly, we truly don't know what it exactly is going to be. But something seems to be in the game already. Okay, level 28 in 52 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. And then we'll try to do the capstone dungeon with level 35. Okay, that one was done that was the easiest uh the easiest whisper ever finished uh i'd like to know how long it took for you to farm all gear for your latest build oh that uh, one hour not even one hour is helltide gonna be leveling superior to domheim tunnels i do believe so in many ways especially because you can you had to bail for hearts bail for hearts is again the resource to summon the boss of the helltide and if you get baleful hearts early on which is kind of cool uh these baleful hearts will be able to be used when you're world tier four kind of nice isn't it is the new helltide up already uh, hasn't it been five hasn't it been five minutes let's kill the next boss quickly getting to 100 will be quite fast what what you haven't seen yet is we're missing the bonus xp for having a teammate we're missing the bonus xp from this season because the season always offers you bonus xp as well and we're not running any potion so these are still layers of bonus experience that we haven't touched even on right we're literally just playing alone without a potion and without the seasonal xp blessing correcto the, and and there's no seasonal mechanic to make things even further uh, faster because seasonal mechanics usually make you stronger the game crashed no game didn't crash so there, there's still a lot of layers that could empower us even further and boost the process even faster But if the eternal leveling is already this quick, right? I mean, what's going to be interesting is the world tier 
like how, can i do the capstone with level 35 so that's step one interesting question now and on top can i do the capstone with 35 with the new like sacred legendary blah whatever gear correct but if i'm then also in world tier 3 super early um how am i going to navigate world tier 3 because usually when you enter world tier 3 you can't instantly do the overworld you're a bit too weak to actually instantly do the overworld but might be able to straight away do it i mean the real strength of this build will essentially surface as soon as you're level 50 and you can go into the cult leader board because if i can go into the cult leader board to get the cult leader node to then get that damage multiplier that's essentially where we're going to be starting to go crazy uh, chest armor one two nick sickle now hand things in make my minions more sturdy again hopefully they don't oh here ladies and gentlemen more minions the winions are here hopefully they don't mess up the launch is the game pve or pvp uh, there is pvp in the game but the pvp in the game is usually high levels ganking on low levels high levels going for a lower world tier to uh, high levels going into a lower world tier to kill low levels uh one versus two one versus three one versus four uh no official arenas no one cares about pvp so yes there is pvp in the game but no one gives a goddamn fl flying part about it then there's a huge imbalance between all the classes right uh like uh, some builds don't simply work in pvp aka overpowers cap um damage over time is op in pvp so so yeah there is pvp but heavily skewed if that's the case nightmares only for glyph xp right now nightmare dungeons are only for glyph xp uh have you used the bale for hard yet we just killed the boss in the hell tide 10 minutes ago uh with the two other players level 11 and level 15 so it is definitely possible to kill the Helltide boss early. Yes. I cannot do that without. If they don't remove temper durability, we can't really test other builds. Um, no temper durability needs to be in. There needs to be some danger to break an item. Uh, infinitely tempering an item, I don't think that's what we wish for. So temper durability needs to be in. Only one aspect for minions. Yep. I cannot do that without. Rex did both tunnels 58 minutes to end 25 Helltide 40. Yeah, well, so the thing is, if you're still in dopamine tunnels at this point, you're just stupid. Sorry if I have to say that. I mean, you're, you're literally, you hate the game. You hate fun. You hate everything. I mean, they, they give you a Helltide with a cool boss density. They give you a Helltide with cool mechanics. The Helltide gives you the Baleful Heart already that you can farm for the end game. So I can kind of stack up on Baleful Hearts. I could have 15 to 20 Baleful Hearts as I get World Tier 4. And then on World Tier 4, as I kill the Queen, I'm going to get significant amounts of loot and everything. So I mean, like, like no matter how fast Dalmaheim Tunnel still is, if you if you go into Dalmaheim Tunnels, you're just stupid. Because you're going to be missing out on so many advantages in the open world. Right? Might sound harsh, but what can I say? We have a game now with many interesting activities, and if you choose to do the the, 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 the lobbyist activity. I mean, there, there's nothing wrong. If, if that's what gives you joy to, to just go into Domheim Tunnel, but you're just missing out on too much, right? Uh, also, these chests that are dropping in the Helltide, they're going to be an easy source of tempering manuals. I mean, right now, almost every chest has given me temper manuals. So that's something to not forget. And temper manuals are actually needed. So so you're not going to get these temper manuals that easy in in um, Domheim Tunnels. Like, there's just many layers why why going into Domheim Tunnels is, is the weak choice. 
even if it would still provide like like another five percent faster leveling when is the PDR ending on the 9th of April then then like after the 9th of April uh there's no like there's no reason for me to touch Diablo until the 14th of May so as soon as the PTR is over, I have a tons of videos I still want to do about Season 4 uh, to discuss Season 4. But the next game we're actually playing is No Rest for the Wicked. That one releases on the ATNs. Maybe there's going to be an early uh, creator access or something. But yeah, from the ATNs on, we're going to be playing No Rest for the Wicked. Uh, I hope you're looking forward to that. That is the Dark Souls Diablo uh, kind of game that I'm excited for playing. from the ori ori forest people why am i getting a battle staff that feels so weird is this best build on pdr or is the people just testing it because something is new and refreshing no minions are insane i mean I, i'm literally on my way to level 200 of the pit with minions right now it's just a time question so i've already beaten level 199 opponents uh, minions are surviving minions are insane i am surviving uh, like minions are incredible truly now now that being said there is a shadow build that will probably be better than minions um because it, it like your personal health is a bit higher and you can again sit in the infinity mist because they kind of made infinity mist super op okay <laughs> they kind of made infinity mist super op i mean you're, you're literally going to be able to sit in blood mist forever like you can increase the duration of blood mist you can increase the um you can increase the movement speed of blood mist to 42 percent uh you can increase the cooldown reduction of blood mist with your tempering i uh, like the things you can do with tempering is just quite incredible uh the same by the way goes for pure corpse explosion there's a tempering to increase your corpse explosion damage by 150 percent and guess how many times you can do this you can do it on four different items that means four different items can increase your corpse explosion damage. So another 400% corpse explosion damage. And then when you take Black River, Black River would then your 400% corpse explosion damage. And that times 130% on top of that with cheese and cream. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, the things you can do is... is you, you are... interesting times ahead and would i say that is op no i wouldn't say that is op i would just say we have a chance to really power creep certain builds so if you if you want to go full corpse explosion then you can super hardcore power creep full corpse explosion you can make it like so incredibly strong that 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 is just that is just super fun but like i think that's how it should be so i wouldn't say that's op or anything it's kind of like yeah this is this is how it should be if i want to fully focus on it then i should be able to wouldn't four times 150 be 600 percent no it's plus it's plus uh 150 percent so we're not we're not like it's not a multiplier 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 right it's the plus 150 percent um on top of what you're dealing so it's not a multiplier it's a plus damage plus percentual damage uh but the damage from black river is then at times 130 percent on all the plus multipliers um so, that, so that's a bit different. I followed your advice with Surge Summoner build. I got Essence Regen. Yeah, Essence Regen Summoner is so cool. So th that is another layer that we haven't talked about. So you can now get Essence Regen on your gear. Okay. Uh, by the way, we're cr probably going to do a video on temperings and all the tempering possibilities for Necromancer, right? What is insane and what you can do. But yes, there there's a way to essentially temper and and rework essence regeneration and resource generation so that you would create up to 40 to 50 resource per second just like that is that op no it's not op again it's gonna be just stupid fun because any build that's usually struggling with resource generation you you could make it not struggle <laughs> and i find that fun We found ways to remove the struggle if you're if your heart's sending it a certain way down i mean sure you would have to sacrifice some survivability or some some defense or damage yeah. 
Minions are strong even outside of a minion focused build. Uh, the real strength of minions is a very simple one and you want to know which it is that due to getting 100% of your stats, you do not have to um, destroy your equipment to make minions work. So right now you can play minions without a single maximum minion life item. And that was unthinkable before. So if you wanted to play minions before, uh, you would have to take maximum minion life item. Maximum minion life item. Maximum minion life item. Maximum minion. Maximum minion life item. And if you didn't do this, like your minions would be virtually useless. And nowadays you can just play minions. Done. Okay, come on. Send me that hell tight dude again. And I find that absolutely incredible that you can just play minions. Oh, look at you, Zatrik, the Brostig. The, the Bratwurst. Okay, we are currently at level 32, Chad. 32 one hour in. That would usually take me one hours and 30. So we're essentially 30 minutes faster than ever in, in terms of leveling, right? The world tier is coming. We're getting closer and closer. We're boosting our golem strength. Uh, we are needing to open more tortured Helltide chests for the whispers. The Helltide whispers are quite intense. I feel like I want more. So right now there's only like one Helltide West whisper, correct? Or, or two Helltide whispers often. Um, I, I kind of want more like it would be nicer if there was a higher variety of, of whispers because it's like often just just one thing to do um, I think I think I would like that I don't care if Helltide is the fastest XP again like it's probably gonna be a combination of Helltide plus seasonal mechanic but for me personally I just like Helltide now you know I'm I'm having fun with myself I am enjoying the hell time. And and that that is what matters the most to me. Because my leveling experience is supposed to it's supposed to be enjoyable, right? I'm not I'm not supposed to get max level and hate the game. Right? I'm supposed to get max level and, and like the game. And then be like, yeah man, this was so cool. I like after getting 100, I want to do another one. That's how I'm looking at the game or, or hoping the game, right? You should try Capstone. Capstone is level 35. So so always for like, it, it doesn't make sense to do it much earlier than 35 because you can only put on sacred gear with level 42 to 45. So doing the hell time, uh, doing the Capstone earlier than 35 is usually detrimental for your progress. And that's why I keep it for that level. We play on official servers no we're playing on the ptr this is the new level experience for season four as it says in the title sorry if you missed that um and with the new level experience i mean this is the test realm and i'm trying out how leveling would feel in season four to then give you an educated level guide for season four because i want you when season four drops for the people that don't want to think about it much uh give you like an optimized way to level obviously as always it's all about having fun with the game and for you to have most more fun with the game uh, where's more chests of mysteries there is one what happens after 50 you don't understand how the game works well with level 50 you should be in world tier 3 already probably you're not in world tier 3 yet so you go you do the capstone dungeon you go into world tier 3 then on world tier 3 you start doing nightmare dungeons the nightmare dungeons are essentially gonna help you to push your glyph xp and your paragon board you're gonna level your paragon board you're gonna become stronger uh, as you become stronger um you can also do then the hell tide and other events to pick up boss materials uh then you're gonna keep these boss materials to with level 60 65 gonna swap over to world tier 4 then as you're in world tier 4 you can finally do the the real hell tide with the hell tide boss because it's worth it to summon and you can finally pick up all the materials for all the bosses then you do nightmare dungeons boss ladder the pit and other shenanigans and yeah that's kind of like the, the end game loop who sum it up that's what you would kind of be doing. 
Oh yeah, please puke on me, father. Okay, level 33, two more levels, and we can attempt the capstone dungeon. I'm gonna be interested to see if low level enchanting is costing as much as high level enchanting. <sighs> Interesting point. Because right now high level enchanting is extremely important, uh, extremely expensive, right? I couldn't, I couldn't even access, I couldn't even like put some some things on. So is it also costing like 75 at a lower level? You did manage to get Black River. You can have one for the PDR build. Thank you for offering, but I don't think I actually need it to to make things work. When I, I knew. Like, essentially, I don't need to have Black River to know that it will work with the build. You know what I mean? So, so I already know that Black River will work with the build. But but if you if you really don't want it, Sinister, uh, a Night Kid, uh, like, and, and you're later there still, uh, when we're done with the with the level experience, then I'm more than glad taking that to, to kind of check out how a full Corpse Explosion build will work. Because I kind of figured out you can, like right now, Chad, you can put bonus corpse skills on your boots. You can put bonus corpse skills on your necklace. You can put bonus corpse skills on your pants. And last but not least, you could put bonus corpse skills on your chest. So the amount of actual bonus that you can get is somewhat incredible. They said more to come with gems. Yes, right now gems are absolutely lackluster and I hope there's more to come. I mean, I don't want gems to just have one effect. I feel like multi effects would be cooler because I put right now a gem in my ring and it's going to be like, oh yeah, you're getting uh, like you're getting 6% uh, blah. I would prefer if gems always provide a certain level of stats. So diamonds always give intelligence. Uh, <laughs> Uh, rubies give strength um like like blah, you know right that to whatever effect gems are doing there is there's also stats provided because right now it's extremely hard to hit your stat goals due to only having um three affixes and therefore due to only having three affixes and it being really hard to hit stat goals i would prefer if i could bolster my stats over gems to essentially hit some of my stat goals better in the paragon board so that would be something, yeah, that, that I would wish for personally. I think that would be nice. Where are you from? I'm from Germany. Born, raised, living in Germany. But streaming in English because I, I play my games in English. So if I would stream in German, I would have to put Diablo into German. That, that's not happening. Seriously. Um... Because German is horrible. Like often when you translate games, um, it's it's ooh, uh, straight up nasty. Uh, there, therefore, therefore, like yeah, keep that German away from me. Hmm, what will we boost right now? We we'll probably boost our movement speed so that we just move a bit faster, right? Actually, interesting. Faster movement, faster leveling. It wouldn't have like a direct impact on our um, strength, but it would just allow me to zoom faster around. In PDR, gems armor gives stats. Yeah, but but armors like gem armor gives stats, but that's useless because what are you doing with gems, Chan? Moofil, thank you for your ten gifted Moofil. That's a lot of money. Thank you very much. That's appreciated big time, Chad. If you did bring your Prime subscription, be like Moofil, and use them here on the channel. Thank you, Moo. That's that's huge. Thank you, Shun. Tomorrow, 30 degrees in Germany. Yes, it's supposedly getting hot and I'm excited for it. Uh, we're going to be spending all day outside with the children. Maybe buy one of the children a new bike already so they can actually learn biking more. Because, um, yeah, like like they, they need to learn bike driving. Thank you, Mufil. Appreciation. So, yeah, um, the stats on gems are useless. Why? Because there's only one gem you're actually taking. And that one gem you're taking, reasonably, is the bonus life gem. And because it's nine percent at this point right nine percent more life that's that's huge but I, ca I can't be goddamn taking a stat gem over that life gem because then i'll be too weak in the end game uh and i won't be able to survive anymore in higher level pits 
so so that's kind of like the conundrum right so yeah i could take the stat gems but if i take if i choose to take the stat gems i'm going to be not having enough damage reduction life happening so i can survive so yeah right now i feel like a gem needs to do um bonus life percentage and strength and then it needs to do bonus elemental resistance and int uh, and afterwards it's like this one is bonus critical strike chance and dex so if it would be like kind of both uh, that would be nice and i don't think it would be op i like the fact that damage reduction was reduced <laughs> i don't mind that damage reduction was reduced the problem is that now the pit doesn't work anymore so i don't know how how hard you have pushed the pit I am already at level 100 and I survive. The problem is despite having all damage reduction that I can reasonably achieve. Okay, so I have every single piece of damage reduction that is possible for me to get without going too crazy. So so like I, I have I have the damage reduction on, on my aspect. I have the damage reduction on the Paragon board. I have I have damage reduction on a unique. Um and despite having all this damage reduction, I'm still getting random one hits in the pit. And that feels bad crit chance on gems there is crit chance on gems already uh crit damage on gems sorry not crit chance uh, there's crit, crit damage on gems so that's what i meant um but yeah so they they uh, they might have removed too much damage reduction so some damage reduction removal was warranted i i do believe we need a damage reduction tempering so yeah but right now the pit is over tuned not not in terms of difficulty because the, the the life difficulty is nice but like i shouldn't again no, no matter what i shouldn't be getting one hit um if i essentially have everything maxed out okay because that that just feels stupid i have everything maxed out i did everything how i should do right and yet despite having everything maxed out the game just decides that it is not enough and i should be getting one hit and that feels horrible and will never feel good. You're kind of like, well, thank you, right? I I did everything correct. I'm playing the game as it's meant to be played. And yet I'm getting punished. So yeah, there's something with the damage reduction they might have to revise. I, I think it could be solved by having a damage reduction tempering. So th then I could choose if I need more damage reduction, I'll temper it. I, I, I guess I guess that's the most reasonable way for me to do this. Like I need damage reduction, I temper it. I don't need it, I don't temper it. And, and that would give me again the choice, right? I could decide. I could say, yes, I want this or no, I don't want this. Correct? that's fine because right now my only defensive tempering is armor i take i take essentially the total armor percentage tempering and that's about it i don't take any other tempering and that feels kind of like stupid because yeah yeah he just got ran yeah ra ra like everyone everyone that has played high level um pit has the same complaint that it's like so the best comparison is currently chat that it's like abattoir of zur because in abattoir of zur you were just randomly dying <laughs> you you were doing everything correct you were playing the game as it was meant to be played and yet suddenly you were dying oh i'm level 35 i need to go for um, I need to go for the capstone, but I think I, I want to I want to quickly gather another 50 uh, What are they called again uh, 50 cinders and then we can go for the capstone dungeon Okay, by the way chat it is now one hour and 18 minutes for level 35 level 35 is usually two hours and It's two hours with a health potion uh, It's it's two hours with a with a bonus experience potion and all that stuff, right? So, so I am currently level 35 in one hour and 20 minutes without a potion, without team play, you know, with me just pushing the hell tide when I'm actually almost 36 and I am ready for the well tier three because due to the new bonus XP, I think you want to be well tier three as soon as possible 
right? Again, we are getting now 150% bonus XP. And it would be kind of like a waste to then not push the world tier as fast as you can. Because if you're already getting this much bonus XP, then then you really want to... <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry. Be there. Have you found... <coughs> oh. <coughs> Have you found all the timber manuals? In world... <coughs> Sorry. In World Tier 1 and 2, you're only finding blue temper manuals. Okay? So, no, I don't have all the temper manuals on, on, like, I don't have all the legendary ones, but I'm actually finding currently rare or magic temper manuals. So, I'm finding low level temper manuals, which is kind of interesting that you would get them. I mean, I have no interest in tempering currently because it's just a waste of resource on the lower levels. Um, that's level 36. It's insane how fast that's going. So yeah, I have like I have no reason to temper currently. Can I see caps on a 36 35? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll go in a second. I mean, I'm just not gonna waste my my level here right now. I'm so close to just getting another 50. Just be stupid to not pull this through quickly. Well, that's a torture gift of Doom saying we're gonna pick that one up. Because Tortured Gift of Doom saying they're the new insane chests. Because, yeah, you see that, right? Tortured Gift of Doom saying is crazy. Okay, now we're teleporting to Kyova Chart. Do you think some gems from D3, such as Tramp DC, would be a good addition to D4? Not sure, Sinistar, uh, how, how, how good the special gems would work. I mean, it would have to be a full season of special gems to to generally make this work, I'd say. Uh, we have all our gear. Uh, we get another skill point. That's even more movement speed. I'm not sure if I want to put the three movement speed points out and just hire my corpse explosion damage. Because that's what I'm essentially doing, right? I'm doing corpse explosion, so it might probably be better for progress. Uh, we do have the occultist. We do have what, what, what oh, we, I wanted to do for the occultist. So this is the occultist, right? Uh, we have the bonus minions. We have the dazed. Um, what I would take, I would take my item and I would take unyielding commander right now, correct? Because unyielding commander, it's still, it costs only 10. Oh, really? Okay, so in low level, this is really cheap. And then you would take the aspect of reanimation. So this, again, the cool thing about this Aspect of reanimation is always good, right? We'd take that too. Uh, and we would take the uh, frenzied aspect. Uh, we would take the frenzied aspect. So we could essentially take everything for our minions to already be absolutely insane. So we'd take the aspect of the frenzied dead, right? Boom. These are the, the aspects to take. And then you would be ready for the capstone dungeon. You have a building for this minion build. Yes, it's uh, on YouTube. I just uploaded it. So if you case you missed it, this is currently it's currently the new number one summoner necro, and it's talking about like how good summoner necro currently is. Uh, it is really incredible. I've been flying through content, uh, pit two one two hundred or whatsoever. Nothing is really an issue. Uh, yeah, I mean apart from the standard issue of the damage reduction and so on. But not from a damage standpoint, right? How do you do the XP method? This is only on the public test realm. So I'm testing it for the purpose of testing. Okay. But right now, I would say the... Like, you would be probably level 100 in 10 to 12 hours. John. I mean, I'm 1 hour and 23 minutes deep. I am already... I'm already very good leveled. We are currently in the capstone dungeon and you know how harsh the capstone dungeon can be. I'm picking up level 44 gear. Now let's see how fast this goes through. I mean, due to being able to enchant any aspect, it's actually really incredible. What I'm scared a bit about is the missing affixes, if they are gonna play a big role. But I gotta say, I'm not feeling it right now. Right? I mean, this dude is gonna decide it because usually this dude is really annoying to kill with minions. Right? He's doing like the elemental damage and min. Oh no. Oh no. He's getting torched, Chad. Bam. Oh, I forgot to, to do the minion effectiveness. 
Wait, let's teleport out and enchant one more thing. Because there's one incredible thing I forgot. Chan. There's there's one incredible thing I forgot. Which affixes did they remove? I mean, ma magic items only have two. And what is the incredible thing? Skeletal priest effectiveness. So this is the skeletal priest. And what happens with the skeletal priest right now is that the priest would heal me too. And one thing that Necromancer struggles with is healing. Are you going to use Bone Spear with Bone Mages? No, I tried this out. It's not good. I mean, it's fun and it works, right? So Bone, bone Mages, Bone Spear works, but your Bone Mages die the whole time. So what happens right now is that when I use my Skeletal Priest, I'm not only healing my Winions, right? I'm healing myself. I mean, look at how he's getting destroyed, Chad. I don't know if you've ever done the Capstone Dungeon at level 35, but if you have ever done the Capstone Dungeon at level 35, uh, you're, you're noticing a, a vast difference right now in what's happening here. Because what's happening here is, is a desecration of our opponents. I mean, this dude is supposed to, like, make our life hard. And right now, he's making something else hard. Minions are tearing it all apart. The reason why minions are so good right now is because the multipliers are multiplying. So you got 45% more damage with this. But this 45% more damage is finally multiplying with Hellbent Commander. Because I've been under the impression that Hellbent Commander hasn't been working really well before. But not only is it working with Hellbent Commander, uh, the main problem with minions has been if they only get 33% of your stats and then you're multiplying the multipliers. Well, 33% times nothing is still nothing, right? But now that they're getting 100% of your stats, it's then 100% times 45% and then it's 100% times the other 45% and so on. So you finally have a base to actually multiply things where before you were kind of like poking in the dark and, and you had nothing to truly multiply. We're going to send in the golem. The golem makes corpses. The corpses heal me and my minions. We're going to corpse explosion him. So now you actually do have something to multiply and not just time zero. You will not have all the aspects. No, you will have all the aspects. No, Krister, you're wrong. In season four, you will have all the aspects. The only difference is that they're not max rolled. So this would be 55% instead of 70%. This would be um, 140 instead of 180%. So they would be a little bit weaker, but not much weaker because I don't have them all max rolled right now. So you would have all the aspects because every single aspect is in the Codex of Powers just weaker from the beginning on and i have actually already found some aspects this i found this is the corpse tendril aspect almost maxed out and as soon as i disenchant that i have it in the codex of power so again every single aspect is in the codex of power from level one on every single aspect from level one on in the codex of power by the way i completely forgot to upgrade my potions my potions are still level one chan No, 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 no. Every code, every aspect is in the Codex of Power. But if you look into the Codex of Powers, the aspects start at a 1 out of 16. So this one is like, for example, this is um, here. This is the aspect of Rash's Rage, uh, which killing an enemy refunds uh, base cost, right? And that is at the lowest value possible currently. So 1 out of 16, because I haven't found a single one of them. Okay. You will have all the aspects from the get-go. Yes. Yes. Every single aspect is in the Codex of Powers. As far as that was communicated, um, the way it goes with dungeon aspects 
I'm not sure if dungeon aspects still exist. So it might be that you still have to do the respective dungeon aspects, but the way how it was communicated is that that is not the case. So I'm not sure if they actually cut one of their mechanics completely again. I mean, it wouldn't be a surprise with Blizzard at this point that they're that they're literally deleting their own in-game mechanics, right? Okay, that was the thing. Because right now I started the game anew, right? And these dungeons, they don't have aspects anymore in them. You don't have a single aspect of the to find them all. That's wrong, Jen. I mean, you, you seem to you seem to not have paid attention during the campfire chat. Please, please don't please don't talk from what it is right now and what is season four. Also, even right now, you don't have to find every single aspect. Right now, even even right now, there is a bunch of aspects in the Codex of Power. So please, if you if you do speak from a position of no knowledge, then temper temper yourself a bit, my friend. But yeah. That's a very good thing because aspects are supposed to be in the Codex of Powers. Not only seasonal, because that's kind of like the bummer, right? And especially, um, there used to be aspects like... Uh, so, so there used to be this aspect, for example, Exposed Flash. This one, Exposed Flash, used to never be in the Codex. The only way Exposed Flash was in the Codex was seasonal. But before seasonal, you could only find it, okay? So there used to be aspects that are only findable. That's over. Um, it's the same with the shockwave aspect. So you couldn't do a dungeon for the shockwave aspect. Okay. It was only findable. That, that's, that's gone now. There are only findable aspects don't exist. This is something they wanted to change. And this is why every aspect is in the Codex of Power at the lowest value. Because only findable aspects was stupid. It was pain since I could spend a whole season trying to find one aspect and I would not find it. I mean, in, I leveled a druid up to level 100 and I found two shockwave aspects. That's it. I've never found another one. It was two shockwave aspects and that's it. And that is dumb and not fun and horrible. That was changed so that we could now find the aspects earlier and not find them earlier. So that was changed. So the aspects are now in the Codex of Powers. That this dumb doesn't exist anymore. I mean, because like it's, it's that the shockwave aspect, for example, is needed to play Overpower Druid. And it, it's not only needed, like without it, Overpower Druid doesn't make sense. So not having it in the Codex of Powers just simply made no sense. Okay, this is currently World Tier 3, a capstone dungeon. We get up to level 37. We are in for one hour and 30 minutes. We're almost done. So how do you rank aspects up to 16? Oh, that's simple. So for example, I have the Grasping Veins right now. This is almost a max roll, okay? If I would destroy this item, then the Grasping Veins in my Codex of Powers would suddenly be... Um, 13 out of 16. Okay. Yeah, this is currently, this is, this is hard. And I'm not even having my maximum damage booster go in, Chan. So wait, let me, let me get the army of the dead. That's 100% bonus damage now. We're not 100%, it's 180% bonus damage. And you notice how that thing just melts away. Because yeah, how, how is the, oh, ow. I need to, I need better potions. How, what is, what is the new um, commander thingy? So the new commander thingy is currently 200% bonus damage if you have it on a two-handed weapon, right?
uh codex of powers is safe for all characters uh yes so i made another character on the ptr and this character is having my other characters boosted aspects going on so it does seem factual that codex of power thingies seem to be character wide uh, or account wide which it should be because if it wasn't account wide i would be going on the barricades because i do not want to level up my codex of power every single time again for every character that's just horrible bad and annoying okay that was world tier three bibbidi bobbidi wobbidi woo done and now i can finally level up my potion too <laughs> so now we can get into world tier three what's not the best way to level up helltide surprisingly helltide is going super fast it is it is incredible that's the blood augment in blue the capstone is wicked easy now well if you know what you're doing right i mean if you if you suck and your build sucks and everything sucks it's still not going to be wicked easy thank you for up for, for upgrading my potion you know if you suck you actually suck don't forget that How long since you started this char? One hour, 35 minutes. And now we're going into world tier three, right? And in world tier three, I would usually not go into the overworld. So what I would do in world tier three right now is I would straight up go for strongholds to level up my character. But let's see how efficient am I at level 50 versus level 55 opponents? Because usually this would be hard, right? Usually, I couldn't just simply go into the Helltide because everything is level 58, right? I, I would struggle. This would be this would be complicated. And my minions are actually dying, so my minions are taking significant damage. But oh, I'm taking significant damage too. But it seems that I would be able to survive in a Helltide currently. Ow. Yeah, that Balrog was a bit, a bit harsh. He destroyed me. So it seems that still, as you hit the world tier, you should probably do um, a few a few strongholds to be on the safer side. I guess at least until level 41, because some of this gear I can put on with 41, 42. I mean, again, it's, it's possible to do, right? But there's always the danger of death. And the danger of death is obviously annoying because it's, if you die, you, you lose your um, cinders. I mean, right right now, it's cool, though. I pick up um, sacred items, so, so that's nice. But again, I... Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this. I mean, it's possible. But due to the elemental resistance being shit, because that, again, one thing, right? Our elemental resistance is extremely low right now. And yeah, all our minions are dying. Okay, okay. So we're going out. We're going essentially for... Uh, let's do core dragon first. Because the, the important thing right now is, chat, that again, the, the strongholds are level gated, correct? So that means if I go into a stronghold currently, the stronghold is not going to be level 58. The stronghold is going to be um level 39 so it's doable i saw all the four streamers are super happy and positive about the changes how would you rate the changes uh, from one out of ten um i think the changes are currently a seven but not because they're bad just because they're they're still a, like a few steps to take to make them good okay so changes are good so, so the changes themselves are 10 out of 10 but the way how it's executed is currently only a 7 out of 10. Since there is things to to still make better. Like the temper animation. That temper only has a chance to work. Um, the pit, the damage the pit does. And that the pit doesn't get harder after level 100. So there, there's still like some things that could be changed. Um, to, to truly elevate this to to absolute perfection right so right now we have taken a good step the the, the base is fantastic uh but we need to we need to still 
um, take the next step. Okay, now we're gonna take this. I mean, I, I think it's about time that we actually might introduce the curse to this too. But right now I like having my core skill too much. But yeah, we're, we're absolutely on the right way. So world tier three is not the way. No, no, no. You're, you're definitely going to go for world tier three with level 35 to 37. So I, I'm I'm currently in world tier three. Why do you want to go world tier three so early? So why why did I want to go world tier three with level 35? Um, the reason is simple. Uh, if I go world tier three with level 35, I get 150% bonus XP. So right now, instead of getting 100% bonus XP, I'm getting 150% bonus XP. So yes, I obviously do want to get as early as possible to World Tier 3 to then be able to go crazy. But again, as you arrive to in World Tier 3, I can't put on my sacred gear. So I cannot put on all these cool items. Uh, I have to wait to put them on. And uh, for that, I need to get to level 41, 42. And that can be achieved over strongholds because as you see this stronghold right now, my enemies are level 39 and they're extremely easy to kill because strongholds are always um, level appropriate. And that's the trick about jumping world tier extremely early that you're then doing the level appropriate content. And you do notice how I'm blasting through this. Uh, you should also not forget that Helltide is always three levels higher. So normal opponents in world tier five are actually level um, 55. So if I, if, oh, in world tier five. If I go to world tier three, normals, normal opponents are level 55. Uh, my, my mistake is right now, wait, which, which thingy have I not destroyed? My mistake is that I went into a Helltide. And again, Helltides are too high level for you. I actually do. Right? So I guess Helltide straight away uh, with level 30 is not, not there. But probably normal overworld should work because it's three levels lower. Uh, 50% bonus damage with Aspect of the Damned. Uh, that 50% bonus damage is only for... Is only for my brain saying uh shadow if i'm not mistaken right damn was only shadow or was it all damage at this point i think it was still only shadow uh damn tier increased shadow damage how do you get damage reduction on your gear now you don't so there's no damage reduction on gear unless you have specific items that have damage reduction uh, shields have damage reduction and there is an aspect it's called the aspect of the hardened bones for necro for example and that aspect of the hardened bones is usually where i get my damage reduction from uh, and armor so right now i have the thorns aspect that can actually push my armor higher and that's quite a nice thing also you can what robbery <laughs> literally just stood for a second afk in the hell tide dead Dude, I'm, I'm trying to teleport out. I'm mean, like, seriously, let me let me teleport out right now. You stupid harbinger of the harbinger harbinger. Like, like I, I am. I am trying to leave this place. Let me leave me alone. Uh, shouldn't be difficult to add. Diablo three had 15 tiers. One thing you're forgetting is that um, Diablo 3 didn't have an overworld. So the reason why we're not getting more world tiers is that if you just simply add more world tiers, then you'll never meet a player again. Kind of. Because right now there's world tier 1, 2, 3, and 4, right? And everyone kind of meets in world tier 4. And the world feels lively correct whereas if you're then having this issue with making too many world tiers then the game is going to be stopping to feel any kind of lively because you're not going to be meeting anyone anymore right and i think 
I mean, like, that's what I think is preventing more world tiers right now. That they want it to feel like like an MMO, right? They're, it's supposed to be this massive multiplayer online game. Where there's a social aspect so that you meet people. And with these people, you do world bosses. Now think about that what you want that that's just my that's my base assumption why I assume we are not having more world tiers right um also I don't mind if the overworld is easy and you're essentially having instanced fun but yes I would find it cool if I could like join a super hell tide right yeah, and Legion events and world bosses and that kind of stuff. Yeah, yes, it is boring that Helltide is so easy and it would be cool if I could join a more challenging Helltide. So if I, if I essentially, <coughs> sorry, had the choice to join a super Helltide. By the way, did you see how fast my level 39 did? So I right now did two strongholds and these two strongholds are just flying me through levels, okay? So, so the 150% bonus XP is incredible. It's just making me go through these level like there's no tomorrow, right? When I'm positively flying and then I'm activating my minions again for the 200% bonus damage and everything just dies. <laughs> okay, good. And now let's end this one. Okay, so we are now in for not even two hours, guys. And we're almost level four. Okay, level 40. One hour, 45 minutes while explaining some stuff to you. And we're level 40. That means we can almost put on gear. How? We can actually put this item on. <coughs> it's a tier um, 570 item power item, right? We could almost put on. Let's do another. This is Alcanus. Alcanus kind of stings. Uh, usually do Varus. Varus is actually a good one to do. <coughs> if I know correctly, they said they're working on the social aspects of the game from chat to group play. So sure, I don't think they will add more world tiers. I mean, so... <clears throat> what they could do is... And what's currently happening already. Let's say... I'm in world tier 10. Okay, let, let's say more world tiers. Okay, guys. Um, after world tier 4, there would be more world tiers, but they would only be for me. Um, so that means that world tier 4 is still the base, but they would introduce a world tier multiplier. So let's say I meet another player and that player's enemies are still the level for him okay so if i meet another player on level 100 and he's in world tier 4 normal the enemies are still world tier 4 normal difficult for him and if i join his game then um the enemies are essentially going to do more damage to me but not to him so if i choose to do world tier 4 times 10 that means that world tier 4 enemies are doing 10 times more damage but I also get more loot. So I guess you could still call it world tier four, but instead of being normal world tier four for me, everything just does more damage so that it's more challenging, I guess. That is something you could probably introduce, but for every further multiplier I take, um, I would also have the chance to get more loot uh more more dungeon xp more more glyph xp or anything but yeah but that, that is something you could probably do in some way without breaking the game just a thought greater risk would be like that i mean the pit is like this already the game gets i mean greater 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 um greater risk uh, the artificer's pit is like this but that doesn't help me to have more fun in the overworld because obviously i can beat a greater pit 199 opponents right so the 199 opponents in the pit are a joke i'm just destroying them 
Um, but if I'm going to the overworld, I can just go AFK. Right? I mean, I, I just go into, into like, I'm level 100. I have my minions set up. Um, I have my Ring of Sacrilegious Souls and uh, my Black River. And I could literally just go AFK. Is the pit not scale after tier 100? So the, as soon as you reach pit level 100, the enemies are level 199 and they won't do more damage. The, I think the only thing that's happening, I'm currently at pit 110, that monsters get slightly more sturdy. So after, after level 100 in the pit, the only increase is the sturdiness of monsters, just like the Abattoir of Zir. And you're essentially fighting that bonus sturdiness with Master Working. Because Master Working uh, gives you more damage, right? Uh, that's like the only thing that's currently happening in, in, the, in the pit. Yeah. But it's also good like this, so this is very important. Because if the pit damage would rise until level 200, the game can't handle that. Okay? So I can survive 199 level minions. Okay? They do damage. But I'm still getting this weird random one-shots. Okay, Chad? I'm 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 have still these weird weird random one-shots happening, which is kinda like shitty. Chad, I wasn't planning to level to level 100 this this stream, but I kind of feel like I could I could almost level to 100 this stream. I need time to do that. Due to how quick it's going. I mean, we're not in for two hours and we're almost level 50. Okay. Now let's do one more stronghold. So it would still be like this triple stronghold that you kind of have to do. Uh, we're going to do one more stronghold. It's going to be Melnock. And then we should be ready for the open world. Master working is going to take a while. Mm, not really. I'm currently in uh, level 200 of the pit, at uh, level 110 of the pit, and I have enough materials to masterwork everything five times over. So the problem with masterworking is currently due to the potential success of masterworking. So so again, masterworking has a chance to not work, which makes it rather annoying mechanic. Uh, personally for me, I, I just hate that part. But yeah, so masterworking has a chance to not work. Um, that's annoying. Uh, and due to that, master working is obviously being dragged out a bit, but it feels like a forced dragging it out. But I have all the materials already. So if you reach level 100 of the pit, you have enough Neath Iron to master work everything 10 times over. Um, the problem is due to master working not being a 100% thing and master working being a chance thingy, I'm already so annoyed by master working that I don't even want to reset my master working. But not not because um, I fear losing my material. It's more like it's just taking so long. Like I'm literally doing the master working and then I have to do the master working again. And then I have to do the master. Like, you know, like, like having to go through this process of master working so many times over. I mean, you're just sitting there and you're like... <sighs> I can't be asked to press this button anymore. <laughs> you know, like, like, because the amount... So, how many button presses does it take you to masterwork to 12? It's four button presses for the first four levels. Then, then for the next four levels, it's anything about um, pressing that button roughly 20 times. And then if you want to masterwork to 12, you would assume it's pressing that button only four times, right? But the master working from 8 to 12 is anything from 20 to 40 times having to press that button. And I, I, I would love to say I'm exaggerating, 
But for my first master working of my Ring of Mandeln, I had to press the button from 8 to 12 40 times. And, um, like, yeah, uh, that, that, <laughs> that means I'm sitting there and I'm pressing the master working button for 10 pieces of gear up to 200 to 300 times. Like I'm standing is like, I have the materials, right? I have the materials. I want to master work my equipment so I could move on to play the game, but I'm essentially sitting there and I'm pressing that button up to 300 times. Um, and I'm just waiting for it to be done. And if you then, so, so if you're then not hitting the good masterwork, Okay, so so again, that, that's like now the thing. So let's say you're not hitting the good master work. Let's say you're hitting the bad master work. That would mean that I now, after hitting the bad master work, have to... Do it another 40 times. And then another 40 times, you know? So... So I would, I would literally sit there and like, it would take me 30 minutes in, in just sitting at the blacksmith to essentially, um, get the masterwork I want. And that merely due to the way how the system is designed. And now you could say, okay, that's the end game. That's fine right that's 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 just how the end game works uh but, but i would personally like to argue that as much that is the end game um like merely just spending more time <laughs> dude, you know more time master working because of the way how the animation and the system works um it doesn't feel like fun Right? So I, I, I like the master working again. I think it's a great system, but just simply, it, 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 you know, the system can't just be more time due to, due to failure of enchantment, correct? What do your feedback notes look like? I, I haven't written them completely out yet, Take. I mean, most of my feedback is wrapped in my videos. And then at the end of the PDR, I will write together the feedback notes in one big document. And we will be having a video like the state of Diablo, the state of season four, where we talk about this, okay? Now, now chat, I could put on some items. So I have a 510 choker. That 510 choker is gonna get the aspect of unyielding so i do more damage then the 570 offhand because i'm not going to find a better focus anytime soon is going to get the grasping veins aspect because i'm essentially using that right then my chest which is 577 is going to get the um more skeleton aspect so our occult dominion. These are the must-have aspects you kind of need. But now that I'm level 41, I think I should be able to go into the Helltide. And that's what we're going to try out. But before we do this, I quickly need to run upstairs. So we're now two, we're two hours in and we're level 41 already. I think I can be level 50 under three hours. I think I can be world tier four under four hours maybe. We will try. Give me a second.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry, chat. We had we had Turkish kebab yesterday. And I cannot do that. Aduna, as you call it. And the children the children didn't finish theirs. Right? What a shame. I need more time. Very sad. That means I took all the kebab now. All the Turkish tuna. And I put it in a wrap, because you always have wraps at home, correct? And just shove that in the microwave with the last fries that were left over. And now I I just have my very fancy pantsy. Don't die! I have my very fancy pantsy kebab wrap. Sauce, there's a bit of tzatziki there from yesterday. Uh, so that's fine. Okay, so we can do the overworld now, Chad. So I'm, I'm level 41 and we can essentially farm Helltide. That's insane because look, look at my XP bar. Do, do, you, do you see my XP bar moving right now, Chad? That's... Uh... Yeah, that's the level. I mean, my minions are surviving, especially due to unyielding commander. That's 90% less damage taken. I'm 42. I can pick up a weapon that does 200% damage. This is, uh, this is incredible. The only problem is I can't AFK do this right now. I need to actually actively be active. I just want to eat my kebab really quick before it gets cold. Well, that, that's, that's nice. Aspect am I missing out now? I'm missing currently corpse tendrils and frenzy. This one, this event should be done AFK. Same. Okay, let's wrap it up together. I should be able to do this one handed. be able to do this one-handed it's working i'm insane I'm inside. I need more time. The heart stayed. Okay. Chat, that's two levels. Two levels in hell tight under five minutes now roughly While eating. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready. 
the solution for my problem yeah i'm gonna just right click wait for all the leveling yellows uh to be fair you're actually mostly leveling with ancestral still uh with, with legendaries all right look at my items i mostly i mostly use legendaries and then i just override the aspects really quickly so surprisingly you're actually not leveling much with yellows and even if you're leveling with yellows it's it's not as bad as you think because it, like so the aspects are so much more worth it at this point um since the since um the affixes are the affixes are so much stronger and you don't have useless affixes so right now any affix i have is either essence max life intelligence damage armor so so like remember that every yellow item here see this is intelligence life per second intelligence decompose um that one here is maximum life and life per second that one is intelligence and life per second so it's really hard that's iron maiden that's bad so it's really hard to find useless items okay most items are useful to some degree and that's that's like the big difference currently with um to to the uh to to the current season because right now like how many useless items do you actually find, right? And then you had like some, and you find one with like, like bonus, bonus blah, and like, like some, some cooldown reduction and shrine buff duration and everything for like the leveling, right? So that's the thing like the standard yellow items uh, are great we don't know how much will drop its pdr on pdr only ancestral drop rate is higher only legendary drop rate the magic drop rate is the same and most of my magic items i got from chests in the hell tide lucky so right now like the only difference that you'll have is that the um legendary drop rate will be slightly lower if that even is the fact because right now the legendary drop rate is higher for the pdr but i could imagine that the legendary drop rate that is currently a bit higher is actually being taken over uh simple simply because yeah so i don't i don't think the experience is going to be much different uh, apart from the seasonal mechanic obviously so yeah keep that in mind Hmm. Shrine buff duration doesn't seem to exist anymore, Chad. FYI. At least I haven't found shrine buff duration yet. Um on any item. I don't know if there's a tempering for it, but I haven't found shrine buff duration. I don't know if it's even under the list of epics anymore. Uh, you can actually check that. I don't think it actually does. It's it's in the game or in in the PDR currently. Might be one of these affixes that's actually Gonzo for good, which I wouldn't mind. I need more time. Okay, that fire enchanted dude is uh, a problem, and that's why we're putting on the unyielding commander because unyielding commander kills him straight away without a single issue. Okay, guys, I just made three levels in this Helltide already. I mean, did I tell you that under three hours, we're going to be level 50? I mean, under three hours, we'll tier four at this point. We're currently two hours and 11 minutes in, and I'm being a bit slowed down because I'm actually eating food. How, does, how do I dare? Okay, let's see. Do I have a weapon that does more damage than what I have there? I mean, this is 500. This is like 650. That should be more damage than anything deals right now. 
Um, this insane equipment that I have. So with level 45, we are we are absolutely blasting through through the new Helltide. I mean, there's no danger of dying essentially. Right, as soon as I hit 50, I can get the Paragon board. I, I might be even able to do the Capstone Dungeon with level 50. You, usually, you do the Capstone Dungeon with level 55, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't. It might, it might be possible. It might, it might be possible. Should we try, Chad? Because I mean, right now the Capstone Dungeon was a joke, right? The capstone Dungeon at level 50 should be crazy. I'd imagine. Okay, we'll we'll try. Okay, Chad. <laughs> Capsule Dungeon with 50 is the new goal. Uh, without a seasonal mechanic, seasonal mechanic is only going to make you stronger. Keep that in mind. Uh, the problem would be reaching the next world tier. That elemental damage is just going to wreck you. Right? That would be the only. That would be the only grand issue. That elemental damage is going to tear me a new one. Oh, I need to uh, change this again to number two. So we're going to try level 50 at this point. Did your solo... Well, I mean, you, so right now on the normal realm. So right now on the normal seasonal realm, level 55 is always when I do the... So, so level level 50 is when I do the capstone to world tier four. That, that's, like, that's like the normal quotation mark level to do it at. Level 55, I mean, latest level 60. Um, it, it's it, There's no problem if you do it with 70. It's just li literally a build slash experience issue most of the time, right? Hardcore is gonna be rough. Oh, yeah, but hardcore is supposed to be rough. I've seen a lot of people complain about the no cheat death elixir and they're like hardcore is gonna be rough now, but I mean it's hardcore Isn't that what hardcore is supposed to be rough? I mean if you're playing hardcore and, and then you're complaining because it's rough, it's kind of like Maybe you should play a softcore then Ryan Ryan We might have a problem here that I'm Hellmark currently, right? I'm being attacked by the forces of hell. Um, I might not be able to kill the the Hellborn dude at the end. I mean, unless I have my army happening. Do I have the army enchantment right now? I have my army enchantment right now. Yeah, so that could be the only the only problem. Come on, Hellmark dude. Army, eat him. Chat, I got my first living steal from a normal lead. Oh god, he's he's dangerous. Screw me sideways. This is what I said. Yeah, the, the, that that one. Oh yep, that, that's too harsh. That's too harsh. I beat him. Mm -mm. Okay, that is that's something. Like the current issue is that I need to be level 50 to get my to get my paragon board so we can actually do this, right? You pick up the unique? I don't think there was a unique. Was there a unique? If I have to go back to look for the unique, I don't think there was a unique. I need to get rid of all this equipment at this point. I don't know if this is any oh this one is a 644 that would do more damage yes oh we can check but there wasn't anything no maybe you're getting tired that's okay things happen bruh 
Yeah, so, so the first capstone was at level 36 and we left it at level 38. So, so we just blasted through the first capstone. It, it was, it was super simple, but it was so simple that I think I could have done it at level 30. The thing is you want to be minimum level 50 because level 50 is going to give you your first paragon points, right? And with those first paragon points, we should be able to boost our elemental resistance higher, which is important, right? We should be able to activate, uh, to, to, uh, use our first to live. Um, I haven't actually found any glyphs. I don't know if I do have them all. It would be sad if I have them all on 21. Probably just going to put in a blue glyph then. And so should be able to, to use our first glyph, at least to some extent, but it's more about like the first remnants of elemental resistance that you're getting because you're, you're essentially like just getting sturdier, right? A bit more, a bit more taunt as well, a bit more taunt, a bit more armor in the beginning as well. So, so that, that's all like very helpful. And we're at uh, two hours and 18 minutes. Jeez, the levels are flying. Holy Christ. I mean, I remember saying at two hours and 11 minutes that we might actually get level 55 below three hours. And I thought it was a joke, but it's, it's not. The Helltide is an absolute XP fiesta. I mean, seriously, oh, I'm almost out of potions. I almost died there. All my minions are dead. Jeez, I need more minions. I need more minions. I need more minions. You know what? These bell rocks are something I don't like because these bell rocks with their fire breath, they're, they're torching my minions right now. I mean, looking at resistances, chat, non-existent, right? Resistances? What is that? The main problem with resistances right now is you can't upgrade your gear anymore. What do you think, Chad? I have a question for you. Do you think they should up the resistance on gear? So right now you still have the standard 8% to all elements, 3% to all elements, right? 3%. So you have the standard thingies. Do you think they should double the values? Because I find it, I find it relatively hard right now to get my resis up. Man, maybe that's good, maybe that's bad, but like hard to a point where it gets annoying due to not being able to upgrade my gear anymore. Um, do you use tempering for resistances? No. Um, I feel like like using tempering for like I know there's resistance tempering, okay? But the problem is that I, I managed to get all my resistances up to 70 with only the Paragon board, intelligence, and gems, okay? On level 100. Keep that in mind. Um, my issue is right now, if you would use tempering for resistances, that's literally boring. So, um, it's mainly, you have so many interesting tempers to make builds cooler, to make builds more fun, right? And then you would use your tempering for resistances. Isn't that, isn't that like counterproductive to what we want? because we want the tempering to give us more build variety, more fun, more enthusiasm, more like corpse tendril size, more energy, more footwork, more footwork, more energy. That's what we want the tempering to do. And if I'm now sitting there and I'm like, I'm taking the tempering to, to get more uh, like, do you know how bad that feels? Resistance only on defensive items. It doesn't matter. It does matter because I take total armor. Yeah. Auf Wiedersehen. So yeah, uh, tempering, like just tempering for defensive gear pieces is in my opinion, not the answer to this. Instead of life and armor, you could get resist, yeah, but then you're gonna die in the high pit because you don't have enough life. I mean, it's it's not that simple. You can't just say, just get resistance instead of life because if you do that, you're gonna not have enough life for the pit because you're gonna just get one hit constantly and it's gonna be annoying. Yeah. 
it's it's like it's not that just Talking about early game not pit yeah but in the early game you kind of want to like keep blasting through the content right i don't want to now have to temper my gear to have enough elemental resistance to play the game like if i could put on three gems here right now to get more resistance i would be fine with that that is something i can do very easy cheesy without much hassle but if we're now talking about having to temper to essentially be able to exist especially you assume that you actually find the the resistance temper recipe i mean right now i have found five temper recipes so i'm level 40 47 and i found five temper recipe i don't think any one of them is actually the the resistance one that am i Temple of Rod or Quadragon is the best to go into World 2 3. It doesn't actually matter which one you do. Um, they're all good. Isn't there an option to add gem slots? I mean, yeah, sure, you you can you can like um you can just put gems on. Like I could put diamonds on right now. A standard diamonds. That would that would like boost something. But for that I also need the the freaking material, right? Keep keep in mind that for some reason the material for socketing doesn't drop from hell tights anymore uh, Currently, I mean, I'm, I'm right now. I'm looking for my scattered prisms and I have Zero scattered prisms, so I can't I can't actually add sockets to the gear uh, This is a problem for my for my max character too because I, I need to add scattered prisms to my pens and I can't because well I can't out almost died there which is kind of annoying we can open a chest of mystery soon ladies and gentlemen so yeah i i think i would i would enjoy a bit more a bit more resistance natively from the game uh personally okay level 48 chat in two hours and 25 when at this at this point it's getting illegal at how fast this is without a xp potion without seasonal the fetal hour is good to see you there Yeah, more resist the game just becomes why do you have resist i mean we're not talking about much more resist but having this at three percent three percent and this at eight percent is kind of silly because so so what you have to understand is i'm not asking for more resist i'm asking for the resist we used to have because what would i do usually right now i would take this item and i would upgrade it five times and then the resist would go from eight percent to sixteen percent right this is how it used to be and therefore, when I enter World Tier 4, I have more resist, correct? But this is not how it is anymore. It doesn't exist. This doesn't exist anymore. I can't do that. So that's why we're talking about maybe enhancing the values that exist because it used to be different, right? <laughs> That's what we're talking about here. Not that we want freebies. We don't want crazy freebies. We want we want the actual things that you know that we used to have that used to make the game work. Okay, uh we get the bonus skeletons, we got the damage reduction. We do need to have the frenzied. Need to have the unyielding. And we need to have the priest. These are the four ones I need. The rest is the rest is like optional. Okay, back to the hell tide now.
Do you let Blizzard know what you think? Yes, um, I, I am. I have like uh, their community manager on on short dial um, on Twitter, and I'll essentially devise a list with my PDR feedback that I'll officially post on the forums. And I will also send that list though directly to to Blizzard over my contacts. I'm sadly not a Diablo partner. Um, I'm still working on that somehow. I mean, they have no official application or anything. But like like the Diablo partners, they just have a, a shorter line to them, so they can they can like directly send feedback. Uh, I'm I'm working on that project, aka Diablo partner. Uh, but yeah, so so that that is something that I'll do. Um, uh, we'll also make a video like the state of season four, where we essentially talk about everything and i'm like as always open for discussion i mean as we're having this discussion about resistances right now it's just about how how the game will be handled from now on how the game will be handled from this point on and like i i can solve the resistance issue extremely easy but we all know that casual players already struggle with resistances with the current system i mean don't, don't get me wrong right resistances are usually not that hard to handle but I know enough people in season three and we're talking about the the 90 percent player base they're, they're currently with the easy system already struggling to resistance out okay and and now we're introducing a system where it's technically even harder to resistance out fine that's that's my thought process here If the if the ninety percent player base struggles with the easy system, and we're we're making it a, a way bit more complicated, uh, like it, it might it might be a problem. But now you could say not everything has to be for casuals, pony, and you're right. You're up, you are correct. Not everything has to be for casuals. But they do still make ninety percent of the player base. I need time to be back. Can you walk over to Woody's housing in a partnership? I, I I don't know where Booty lives in Germany. I haven't asked him yet. You know, where we're not on the where do you live basis. Give me your address. But yeah, like Bl Blizzard is sometimes very seclusive about their systems. I don't like they don't have like any kind of application for the Diablo partner system. I mean, the people that are Diablo partners as of now are essentially people that have been Diablo partners since Diablo 2. I don't think they have actually made any like new kind of Diablo partners, right? Anyone is just these old kind of creators they're used to. But obviously Diablo 4 has brought like a bunch of new creators into the frame. Um, it would be nice to see if they would actually roll that out a bit more again. I, I just want to I just want to hail you know there's the hellborn again can I kill him this time Chad last time he was too rough and tough him for me he actually killed me this time my my gear is a bit sturdier and I just want to get level 50 because give me my paragon board ah Okay, too sturdy. Should have opened the chest. Let me let me spend my cinders now so we can. Um... No, actually, we need to we need to keep doing this. I was like, let me spend my cinders now. No, no, no. We we need to get to level fifty quickly. I forgot. So we can do the the thingy afterwards. And it's gonna be versus level seventy opponents. To be able to handle this. Important to crap a fine. I'm not sure if we're gonna put our sever away in a second because again the build actually doesn't run sever. I'm just playing sever for the leveling purpose. Because right now it's still good. Later on you don't need it anymore. You have 34k HP and you nearly get one hit in the in the pin. Yeah. I mean we all know that Blizzard struggles with um high high opponents. So, so there's there's one thing blizzard struggles with and that is balancing the damage of high level enemies versus resists and armor 
I think that something inside the Blizzard system when it comes down to damage resistance and armor and damage reduction is inherently broken. Because I can't explain myself otherwise how we still have all these random one hits happening. I mean, you have essentially maximum elemental resistance. You have maximum everything. And yet... The game might randomly decide to kill you. Right? Okay, two hours, 32 minutes, almost level 50. Let's do the last final push. More experience. Okay, that's, that's a huge boost of XP. Okay, that, that's what I'm, that's why I assume something inherently in their calculations is still not working correctly or especially, I mean, we, we all know one thing, Chad, and what do we know? Uh, that poison is broken. Right? I mean, this is probably the, the biggest proof to something in the system not working because poison is still broken. I mean, like, for example, my minions died to no elemental damage, okay? Not a single elemental damage can kill them. Not fire, not lightning, nothing can kill them. But what happens when poison is there, huh? They die. Right? So we all know that poison is still still overtuned. But if poison is overtuned and and kind of like going for crazy damages that should technically not happen. I mean it's it's not it's not far fetched to to think that maybe may, maybe something is simply not working as it should with resistances. By the way, we haven't found a single unique or uber unique yet. Just, just like usually during leveling right now, correct? You can find any unique from level one on. So I haven't found a unique or an uber unique yet. <coughs> this is not a complaint. So don't take this as a complaint. This is more like a, uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, we're level 50. Let's try out the capstone dungeon. You're saving your obolts? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're Winston. We're we're just doing like your normal, normal level, um, experience. Okay, we go for the right side. Pick this up. We pick up the resistance. We go over that. We pick up the armor and we pick up the damage. This is usually what you do with your first 25 points, right? And that instantly makes you more sturdy. That instantly gives you more damage and it instantly gives you more health. So it's kind of like really good. And we're rushing to the Fallen Temple. I'll teleport back, though, to upgrade my potion before we do it. Because we at least want to go in with an upgraded potion. <laughs> fallen Temple, Fallen Temple. Uh, let's go to Jibichan. Good morning, Hustler. Good to see you there. Uh, did you get Black River to test your build? No, I haven't gotten Black River, sadly. Um, I have also not tried to get Black River yet. So, kind of like a sadly, but I also haven't like really taken much effort into my hands. So yeah, uh, we are in front of the dungeon, so we could technically temper. The problem is I have so many tempers here right now and I don't know which tempers are the ones I actually picked up. So I kind of don't want to temper because like I don't know if I would have these tempers right now. Simple as is. And that's where we're not going to be tempering because these are obviously the temper recipes I have from my from my main main account. I'm looking forward to season 4, dude. You and me both. I am absolutely stoked. Excited. Have an armor potion. Rank. For what season four will have to offer. I think it's going to be real fun. And season four is probably like season four is definitely Diablo 2.0. Right? I mean, they have done so much to improve the game. And it's it's truly like it's going in the right direction. And if you don't like Diablo with these changes, that is okay. But if you don't like Diablo with these changes, I think it's time for you to stop playing the game. 
and move on and stop commenting on videos stop coming to streams right <laughs> I mean, at this point, like if the game doesn't doesn't have you anymore, if this doesn't if this doesn't catch you, then then just just move on. No, it's, it's time to say goodbye. Okay, these level seventy opponents are being destroyed. If I have Army of the Dead active, I mean, at, at some point, it's finally time to accept that maybe, maybe you're done for with the game. Okay, my minions are dying. Out. Yeah. Okay. Level level fifty is technically possible, but I think we're gonna take these twenty five paragon points from the next level to make it easier. So let's let's do 55 so 50 could work but i think 50 is too tedious to recommend that what date is patch release on the 14th of may congratulations okay so so first first capstone dungeon was easier second capstone dungeon is still from a difficulty standpoint at the same kind of level but mainly because your minions die. So that's that's an interesting observation. I mean, the sturdier I get right now, so the more stats I pick up, the stronger my minions are gonna be. One interesting observation, I haven't picked up a single glyph chat. I mean, usually you drop glyphs in the op open world, right? Usually you get glyphs from from doing um from doing whispers and that kind of stuff but i haven't haven't dropped a single glyph oh join a nightmare dungeon let's start dropping after 50 you're right you're right i completely forget that one you're absolutely correct i'm a doofus copter i completely forget that part Also, that you can't actually level up Bliss before you're level 50. Because if you actually go into a Nightmare Dungeon before level 50, which you can do, congratulations. Uh, the problem is if you do that, um, there, there is no... There's no Bliff XP for you. It's, it's an interesting waste of time. Yeah, 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 I can't miss if you don't drop them, dude. It, it's been a while. It's been a while. Bear with me. Vast different, though. So we're with level 50 now in the Helltide again, right? And everything is just getting trounced. Everything is getting nuked. Okay, uh... We're doing this. I think it's about time to go into the skill tree. Put these points out. And put them back here and there. Because now we're going to move the golem here. I'm going to start playing to Crepify. That, that's like the build the build is actually playing no core skill so on level 50 you're essentially a core skillless maniac it's just using the power of curse and the minions to do all the damage i mean the main thing we would need is to push into we would need to push into technically Oh, you know what we can do? We could replace the golem through the shockwave golem. Uh, we need to push into the cult leader board to just activate the cult leader node. I'm not sure how much, like, if I get another 25 points, so with level 55, I should be able to do that. Because then instantly, your minions would actually get a huge boost of damage. Right? This is something intriguing to consider. 
because as soon as I get Coal Leader, it's another 150% multiplicative more damage for my minions. That sounds like a lot because it is a lot. He just pulled me out of... I hate you. Isn't the XP in Nightmare Dungeons higher than in Helltides? No. Uh, Nightmare Dungeons, for example, would be level 58 opponents, right? Uh, 55 opponents right now, unless I go for like a higher level Nightmare Dungeon, where these are already 58. But the thing about the Helltide is that it has a immense density right now. It has the Hellmark meter. It drops me um, painful hearts. I am having a huge amount of elites, actually, right? And if I do open the chest, the chests are providing a good amount of XP, too. So, personally, I don't think that doing uh, Nightmare Dungeons would be beneficial right now. Especially any Nightmare Dungeon under Tier 30 is not worth it. Because before Tier 30, the Nightmare Dungeons give such a pitiful amount of um, Glyph XP that it's truly not like, oh yeah, this is this is so helpful right now, right? I'm, I'm making I'm making progress. No, you're not. You're not. You're not making progress. So, so yeah, um, that's mainly where we're like, it's kind of like, sure. I mean, can do if you want to, but I, I usually go to world tier four and I level to like level 60 and on level 60, you can instantly start like with a tier 30 usually if, if you have a good build. So that's how I, how I do things. Where do I get the keys for pit tier one? Uh, whisper events, um, hell tides drops them. I think Nightmare Dungeons too. So the the thing for the rune shards drop everywhere. I think it's bucked on PDR though. So yeah, I think the rune shard thing is bucked on PDR. If I'm if I'm not 100% mistaken, there was something. I don't, I don't remember what it was. I mean, usually you should have enough rune shards to just do the pit currently a billion times over again. I think they mentioned glyph xp will be increased yes hopefully vastly much i mean i'm i'm sad that the pit doesn't provide glyph xp because i would really like that i don't think the pit will ever provide glyph xp because blizzard is kind of like a fan of one dungeon one purpose right <laughs> so, so the, the pit the pit is supposed to be then for massive working materials and it's not supposed to be for anything else and that's where they're like one one dungeon one purpose kind of kind of people. I wouldn't like the pit providing glyph XP though. That's okay. I would like to at least get some. I'm not I'm not asking for much, but I I kind of like. I'm just tired of nightmare dungeons because the only reason for nightmare dungeons is right now glyph XP there's there's literally no other reason correct there, there's like no you're not going into nightmare dungeons for loot you're not going into nightmare dungeons for fun it's just literally like like you're you're just doing nightmare dungeons until you have ever glyph 21 and then you're done with nightmare dungeons and you don't have to touch them ever again okay because like the the reality right now is right if you're looking for loot if you're looking for for actually getting better quality stuff uh you might as well just go into helltide because Helltide drops 925 gear. As soon as you're level 95 or actually 92, from level 92 on, the opponents in the Helltide are level 95. And uh, then the Helltide drops 925 gear from that point on. Right? So, so it's just going to be 925 gear, 925 gear. The highest pit level be clear with a minion build so i'm currently at level 110 and i'm gonna work my way to 200 the thing is again you have to understand that the pit doesn't get harder after level 100 so right now going from level 100 to 200 is just simply simply time effort right i mean i'm, I'm gonna be we're gonna probably in the next two days or so uh work on that of pushing pushing deeper into the pit That's why I made myself a couple of Necromancer builds, uh, a couple of Necromancer accounts, so I could just fluently swap between them. See, now I would go for Cold Leader first, and I would turn the board 
so that we're getting the fastest possible into the cult leader node it looks a bit silly because right i, I don't i don't want to technically just get there but cult leader is the biggest damage boost you can acquire right now the biggest damage boost you can get in any capacity We'll just try to, to work on that. They should probably increase the level to 925 gears then to give time to more meaning. No, I think that 925 gear drop early is important because it uh, allows you to really pick up the pieces that you need early to then be able to work on the master work on the tempering. So I, I don't think it's bad that 925 drops early. They just need to find a new meaning for Nightmare Dungeons. Right now, Blizzard has created its own issue that essentially they have a bunch of things in their games that are made redundant by new things they're adding i mean we, we remember chad we used to have a renown grind correct that renown grind left us because uh let me check my notes yeah no one no it didn't fucking want to do that renown grind over and over and over shitting fuck 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 again because the renown grind was absolutely horrible and whoever had the idea i hope he he steps on a lego i mean seriously Stupid renown grind. Eat my booty hole. I mean, has anyone in the whole duration of Diablo ever said, you know what? Renown grind sounds really fucking good and I'm enjoying it so much. I, I like, please renown grind me harder, father. Yes. Oh my God. Renown grind. So good. I love it. Hmm. Hey, should we renown grind today all day long? Yeah, that sounds like a very good idea. I'm going to invite my friend to renown grind with us because renown grinding is so good. Yeah. When's, when's the last time you've heard anyone say that? Exactly. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm the first one to ever say it, right? I I don't see you using elixirs. Oh, we're not using elixirs because we just want to see how fast it is. Okay, so so the main reason we're just not using elixirs. This is this is no elixir for XP essentially. This is this is um this is no team. This is no seasonal bonus XP. I literally just want to see how how fast. How fast are we right okay i want to do a whisper quickly because i want to get some more xp currently i don't like how you make a character and have 10 skill points already i love that i i love that Did you miss the capstone? We tried the capstone at 50 and decided that uh, as as it is possible, it is very tedious on 50. So it wouldn't be worth it because it would be... So so if you do the, the capstone on 50 right now, like you could do it. But the amount of time you're essentially spending, um, in that time that you're spending to essentially weasel yourself through it, you could as well just do the last four levels to then have a way easier time with a uh, level with level 55 because at this point level 55 means 25 more paragon points right a uh, 20 more paragon points sorry math it's hard because every level provides you with four paragon points so so that's that's kind of good more paragon points the maria Uh, I'm level 34 rogue. Are all the classes viable in endgame? No, all the classes are viable in endgame. I mean, some some might get strong early, while others get strong late. For example, Necromanza is strong always. That's that's the one cool advantage of Necro in my eyes. Like you're always strong. Like it doesn't matter what you one, two, three, or four, whatever point you're at, you're always at a decent power level. Uh, whereas Druid, for example, I don't know how Druid is this season, but Druid usually takes a while to pick up. Um, I found myself with Rogue. I didn't know what I was doing, though, so keep that in mind. But Rogue felt for me also like, yeah, had took me a while to get strong. 
Eric, by the way, thank you for the three months of support. Plus, Angel Delamort, thank you for the brand new subscription. Chat, if you do have a sub, don't forget to use it on Twitch. Right here, right now. Thank you. When it's held tight up, it has a five minutes downtime. Five minutes downtime, and then it comes back up again. So if the hell tide is right now not there, you just have to wait five minutes. That's it. Wee 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 wee. Uh, do you think we should upgrade more Paragon points? As much as I would like more Paragon points, I think it would become silly. Because right now, par the whole Paragon system is a little bit of a trade-off. Like, like if you if I go for this, I can't go for that. If I go for this, I can't go for that, and so on. Right? And if you give us even more Paragon points, I could just do too many nasty things. Right? I, I wouldn't mind another 50 Paragon points. But the thing is, the, the silly builds I could do... Uh, with more Paragon points would truly be something out of out of the nightmare for our opponents. Uh, there, there, there's just there's quite some shit I could pull on. I need more time. But yeah, I, I do believe Paragon is nice the way it is um, right now. I mean, it's good that they actually updated some Paragon nodes and tried to make the Paragon board more meaningful. So, so that's definitely nice to see that they're slow and steady. Working on improvement there. For me, Rogue and Necro always felt dark water. But Necro, you need to know to a degree what you're doing. Not while I'm in town. Then again, you just take Bone Spear minions and you should be good. Can't wait to try minion builds. Oh, minion builds are insane right now. I mean, like, I think in the coming season, I will only play minion builds. I don't see myself not playing minion builds. Uh, I will definitely try out the super shadow build though as I get the items I will make a full corpse explosion build because again there's a new tempering guys that gives you in total 600% bonus corpse explosion damage yes 600% Chad so you can get a, a vast a vast amount a very vast amount of, of bonus uh, corpse explosion damage and there, it should be able to build the absolute next level super nuclear necromancer who, who, who does corpse explosions that go up to like 50 million or something. It could be possible. We could use an additional progress system after 100. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind getting a few more Paragon points after 100, but I don't think that will happen. Thank you, Winions. But why are you level 100 and you're in World Tier... This is World Tier 3! Why are you in World Tier 3 with level 100? What am I missing? What are you doing? Jimothy! With season four starting 40 and stuff may there's a lot of time that we still have to wait but don't worry i will keep you updated with cool youtube videos until then so that you don't lose out on your excitement and you're obviously going to do me the favor of watching every single one of them because that pays the bills and brings food on the table so cheerio and appreciation chat also shout out to all our viewers over on youtube yes guys we're streaming on youtube and twitch at the same time and I, I have to say that it's very funny, but if we're streaming in the evening, because the evening is not my usual streaming time on Twitch, uh, our YouTube audience is always bigger than our Twitch audience. That's kind of crazy. I mean, whenever a patch comes out in the evening, we have like almost a thousand viewers on YouTube and we were like 200 viewers on Twitch, which is incredible. Imagine there's a thousand people out there on YouTube that want to watch the live stream. Jeez. I do find that incredible. Uh, creating a new character resets the codex. Uh, well, so creating a new character and PTR boosting it, um, I think still breaks the codex. I haven't tried it because I don't want to break my codex. Okay. This is, this is very important. So if you make a new character and then PTR boost that new character, 
right make it level 100 then there is a world where you could be still breaking the system okay we have a we have a three hours chat i didn't manage to get to world tier four under three hours i'm sorry i failed i hope you can forgive me i will have to settle for under four hours then which is which is still incredible I mean, right now I'm saying it's like it's like a 10 to 12 hour level experience during the season. So I could do one one very strong stream to just push my level 100. Hey, Mr. Mimey, good to see you there. Hope you're doing well. Boo, 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 boo. funny that at this point we're already using no core skill so we have we have used core skill until until level 50 but at level 50 it was about time to to swap it away so once we reach world tier 4 that would that would conclude this experiment for the leveling well i got living steel from this interesting you know the moment the moment the helltide event actually gives you living steel but it kind of forgets to give you um blood because where's my blood chat hey chan where's my blood has anyone seen my blood that i would usually get for doing a helltide uh, for doing a legion event <sighs> Being able to augment Paragon nodes would be cool. Yes, I'm with you. I mean, Paragon board can be boring at times because it's so simple. Mm. You kind of wish, as you say, that you could augment Paragon nodes. Profane innovation, Chad. Woo! Already had that one. I think. Uh, I still feel even in season three that damage reduction and resistance don't work properly. I've seen a barb doing level 100 dungeon with three armor items missing about 30 resistance, five armor without dying uh, or taking significant damage. Barbs are broken. <laughs> the answer, the answer you're looking for is barbs are broken. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. I mean, barbs have an inherent 10% damage reduction currently in season three. Did you know, child? <laughs> that for some reason, barbs, since the very beginning of the game, have an inherent 10% damage reduction because, quote unquote, uh, me melee was so hard when Diablo got released. Yeah. Well, they had an inherent 10% damage reduction, which is finally getting taken out of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Barbs don't get free 10% re damage reduction anymore. But let's not open the barb bo box of the Pandora again. We, we all know that the whole barb concept is broken and that Necromanza is missing like half of the skills that it should actually have. So someone actually put all the... T I'm, I'm pretty sure that the Barbarian designer or the person that is responsible for the Barbarian class he, he started making the barbarian class and to, to like put a lot of efforts in and then they were like hey could you also design the necro and he was like wow i have only five days left that's kind of unfortunate <clears throat> so yeah that's probably what happened you know he used all his brain power to make like a cool barb and then like then it was like yeah i mean now now talking about uh necro we we're we don't have any computation we can, the computations are not computating we have we have nothing left you know we have no resources left to make a proper class so you will have to settle for something half cooked that would explain a lot of things it wouldn't you have everything resistance capped how can you still take elemental damage but well, only the gods know sir 
only the gods know how you despite being fully elemental resistance out are still able to get one hit by elemental resistances which makes the whole process of fully resistancing yourself out completely feel irrelevant and sad okay, what are my resis saying now well my, my, my resis are looking shit they're looking shit guys the problem is actually not getting one hit in diablo you know what the real problem is getting one hit and not knowing why what or whenever it's aka no damage lock we talked about it yesterday i wouldn't even mind getting one hit if i at least at least had a death recap if i at least had a uh, like a death chat a death lock where i could understand why i got one hit right didn't necros get more movement speed yes 12 percent so that is that is my greatest gripe still right that we don't have any kind of damage lock so if something happens to us you you can only guess what it was now but you'll never have certainty because that certainty just doesn't exist desecration and finally we're picking up all the glyphs so that's good we're currently at level 52 oh no wrong i, I don't want to do that yeah it's rough to learn from mistakes if you cannot see the mistakes <laughs> exactly my point it's like when you're asking your wife if something is wrong and she says no everything is fine and you're like shin that's 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 like when you're getting one hit in diablo and you don't know why you got one hit in diablo you're in trouble you just don't know why you're in trouble you should also remove pvp it's useless nah i mean like yeah yes pvp is useless but on the other hand um it doesn't hurt that it's in i mean the, the pvp area is like one of these things it's it's in to be in it's not in to be a very well thought out feature right so so the reason pvp is in because people wanted it and done okay but it doesn't hurt that it's in you know what i mean if i don't want to go to the pvp area i won't go to the pvp area it's, it's a it's, it's simple as that and if i want to pvp i'll go pvp Uh, I said random one shots are a problem too, but Booty said it's mostly player mistake driven. He didn't see random one shots. Hmm. I mean, everyone is allowed their opinion. That's the only thing I can say about that. But I do not agree. There are random one shots. PvP is the reason I'm on D4. I would like to have some PvP battlegrounds, but then again, I'm really not playing this game for PvP, right? <laughs> Never sat down and was like, you know what? Let's play some PvP in this game. Yeah, let's fucking go. I've never sat down. Don't just stand there. Help me. I mean, sorry, sir. I'm in this alpha discord channel and you get to help you to help yourself. Can't be trusting other people to pull you out of the mud all the time. Maybe the seasonal mechanic will have some resistances come with it. Well, I'm excited to see what the seasonal mechanic is. I'm always up for cool seasonal mechanics. You know, they, they get me, they get me excited. Me pumped. I mean, they, they turn this, this, they turn the game always into something new, right? That's the reason why you, 
or you play season because you're playing the same game but the same game is actually not the same game anymore because seasonal content and that's when the same game is the same game but different right that's where my true enjoyment comes from it says season of the loot reborn yeah i'm not sure what that pop-up is i've seen it i've seen the season of the loot reborn pop-up that just recently appeared I mean, we already know that some kind of wolf's honor reputation is in the game because for some reason they screwed that up and left that in the game. We won't complain. We'll just say thank you for this valuable piece of information and we'll make the best out of it. It was funny to have a fight club in D2, but in D4 it just feels like garbage. I mean, I really don't engage in PvP because PvP is heavily unbalanced, right? I mean, in, it, right now you have characters with literal super defense skills. You have characters with escape skills and whatsoever. And then you have Necro. Plus, I mean, if you have an overpower build, you're actually capped in PvP, right? Don't, don't forget that overpower builds have a limit on how efficient they work in PvP. Uh, while damage over time builds are working absolutely insane. So if you're, if you're getting into PvP with the wrong build, you're, you're already by default screwed. Which doesn't feel good. I mean, like you, you might, you might have the absolute, absolute perfect, like the, the, the banging, the, the super clapping, the face melting, uh, overpower build. And then, and then you kind of go into PvP and it's kind of like, oh, I don't know why I'm not dealing damage. Necros could be really quick. I mean, Necros can be quick, uh, but there's a attack speed limit. So, I mean, you can only get 200%, right? And then you're still lacking any cool movement skills. So, as quick as Necro can essentially become, which is still quite quick, um, like every character can become equally quick, but not only equally quick, but then they still have their cool movement skills on top. That being said, Necro just got a buff in movement in case you missed it, Chan. That buff in movement is called 42% uh, more blood miss movement speed that you can temper. And that 40% uh, more blood miss movement speed uh, is working perfect because uh, blood miss itself is not having any minus movement speed anymore. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. Blood miss itself is not making you slower. Season 4 will have a seasonal theme. I mean, obviously, Season 4 will have a seasonal theme. Uh, they just didn't tell us yet, right? Which is great because we should focus currently on the PTR. I mean, I, I don't need a seasonal theme to test out tempering and master working to see if tempering and master working will actually be any fun, right? I do not need a seasonal theme for that. I just merely need to, need to play the game and see if they're working. Does that work in an Infinity Mist build? Oh yeah, Infinity Mist build is currently fast as ever. Infinity Mist build might also be the new S tier. Simply because shadow damage over time is currently absolutely bonkers. When shadow damage over time and shadow damage over time temperings are, are insane. They're insane. And then shadow damage over time lucky hit procs insane times too. Triple threat. 52 I love speed runs. It's 52 in three hours, so we're doing very good. I think right now you could probably, with all the elixirs and everything, and, and if you have a teammate, probably in 10 hours get to get to level 100, which is kind of nice. Um, but right now my main goal is getting to world tier four. So I want to get world tier four under four hours. That is that is my plan. That is on the list. Under four hours world tier four. And it does look possible currently. I mean, we're very close to... Very close to 53. We decided to postpone the capstone dungeon to 55 again. Because right now I'm 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points away from my upgrade. Correct, chat. I'm only 5 points away from a huge damage boost. And we're talking ginormous damage boost.
Wait, is one of them being attacked by hell currently? I think one of them is being is being hell marked right now. Because there there's like a frequency of minions spawning here. That's that's mildly concerning. I mean, it's it's great when somebody yeah there's there's a hellborn. It's great if someone is hell marked. You just gotta look out that we don't die. Is that two hellborn? I think this is two hellborn. Yeah, I gotta look out. I'm not dying to elemental hazards. My minion don't my minions don't die, so that's a good thing. Sir Hellborn, could you please die? Not sure if the one guy ran away, Chan. Come on, give me my give me my ah, there you go. Bonus damage, bonus damage, da 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 da. Bonus damage. They dropped the baneful hard. I mean, right now in my whole leveling, I have picked up how many baneful hearts? I think six or seven baneful hearts have been picked up leveling to this level. That is now for world tier four, a bunch of potential hell tide boss summons. Come on, give me my, give me my upgraded minions so we can beat you. So my minions could dominate. Oh, my inventory is full. And I'm lucky. What does the Dune Sandworm do? The Dune Sandworm appears and tries to eat you. He's like, Rawr! and then he pukes out minions, and then you kill those minions. The Dune Sandworm is my favorite mechanic currently. Cause it's so much fun when he appears and you're like, oh no, enemies, and then bam, 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 bam. I know. Oh, let's put on this chest. And then a cold dominion. Oh, not. Winions. Will we get to keep my mats if I have them in stash after season three is over? Hell, hell no. Your materials will vanish. Everything will go away and you'll be naked. Okay. Season four is out. No, this is the PTR, the public test realm. And we're currently testing the leveling in this season. Okay, level 53, ladies and gentlemen. Only two more levels or until I get my Paragon node up and running. Okay, one more. One, two, three, four. Might be able to then do it with level 54. Season the four to get the latest. Well, season four is supposed to release on the 16th of April. As you can see right now, we are currently playing the test server. And if they released it on the 16th of April, it would have most likely been a fail. Mainly because they are simply not ready. I mean, right now, there's a lot of UI bugs, right? The animations are not smooth and perfect. So there, there's a lot of things that are not working as good and as smooth as they should or could. Um, that's, that's definitely like a fact and a half, right? And that's where I'm saying if they, if they release this on the 60th in the state it is currently in, that would have not been smart, right? There, there's a lot of, uh, multipliers not multiplying. Some of the affixes might have to be looked at. Again, the whole, the whole damage reduction situation might have to be reworked because not having any damage reduction might be a bit too problematic so these these are all actual things that need to be addressed and looked at season four mechanics ain't in as well no no no. the season four mechanics are not supposed to be in we are testing tempering master working we're testing the pit 
because that's the cool thing right now correct everyone is talking about the future of diablo correct so we we currently have the pit the pit is now something that's in forever so the pit is meant to be a functioning mechanic for you to get your master working materials that's why the pit is in so every single season you would do the pit for master working materials every single season you would do nightmare dungeons for glyph updates every single season you would do um gauntlet for leaderboards so so that is kind of like the fixed things that are in the game right now correct and then season four is going to introduce whatever season four is introducing and that's actually really interesting because now we had season three right and season three had the the vaults and everything but we're essentially getting all these things that we're getting right now and then on top of all these things that we are getting right now we are then bonus getting the season four mechanic plus whatever season four endgame has to offer that's kind of nice Path of Exile 2 is going to dominate Diablo 4. That's something very stupid to say. Path of Exile 2 is going to be Path of Exile 2 and people are going to play Path of Exile 2 until Path of Exile 2 has a boring patch or it's just not interesting. And then they're going to play whatever and then they're going to wait for the next season of Path of Exile 2. And then when the next season hits, they're going to be playing it again and then it gets boring again and they're going to stop playing it and then it, and so on. So that's what's going to happen with Path of Exile 2 as with every other ARPG. I mean, right now I'm not playing Last Epoch because I kind of did everything in Last Epoch. But guess what? If Last Epoch gets an interesting upgrade, I'll play it again. Same goes for Diablo 4. As soon as I'm done with the PTR, I'm not going to be playing Diablo until Season 4 releases. Then I'm going to play it for a month or two months. And then I'm really done for it until the next update again with the next PTR and everything. Correct. And the same is going to happen with, with Path of Exile. Yes, Path of Exile is going to release and everyone is going to be hot for it. And it's going to like be the absolute game on Twitch to play. And you know what? Then after... After time X, it's not going to be hot again, and it's not going to be absolutely the game to play, and so on. You know, just just the way how ARPGs have always worked since the since since ARPGs have started existing. New PoE League came out last week. It's fire. Well, I heard that the new PoE League, week, uh, League came out last week and they instantly had to rework the League because people were super unhappy and pissed. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Sacred Legendary. The problem is it's actually a shitty one. For what I'm playing right now. It's kind of sad. All this sound, but nothing came out of it. And remember last Epoch, the Diablo 4 killer, guys? Last Epoch currently has 200 to 500 viewers on Twitch. Congratulations. And last Epoch has, I guess, less than 100k players on Steam right now. So, so... <laughs> regarding regarding all these killer games right they're great games and they have great player viewer bases and whatsoever um and that's that's it but no game kills another game remember remember whenever everyone said fortnite 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 is a joke and and uh, you know fortnite and then and then people said fortnite killed pubg nothing killed pubg you know what killed pubg pubg you know you know who kills games games but themselves you know if a game is not doing well it's in 90 percent of the cases the game's fault not not another game's fault you know <coughs> diablo is not doing bad because other arpgs are doing better diablo is just doing bad right now or has less players because season three is just lacking to a degree right and people are just done with season three and people are excited for the new changes. Simple. There's nothing to do with, with Last Epoch or anything. So like in 90% of the cases, it's the game's own fault. And then there's like these 10% of cases where a game get killed by other games. Exari, the Blood Maiden. Oh, Dust Devil player, ladies and gentlemen, Dust Devil players are super not annoying. It is super not distracting that this guy is using his Dust Devils to blind my whole Gotham screen. Also, I do hope if they actually keep Dust Devils in the way it is, 
that what's going to happen is that these dust devils are only visible for the actual barbarian player and they would just make them not visible for me because really no thank you i don't i don't need to see all your dust devils i'm i'm, I'm actually fine like I, I appreciate it thank you for for all the effort you're putting in like that's kind of cool like your build is fantastic you're, you're amazing you're unique your personality is great but but like i really 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 don't need to see all your dust devils okay Keep in mind that the fail of season three helped Ellie a lot. No, I don't think so. I mean, Last Epoch is a good game. It released to a good time, but it like, I mean, Last Epoch is a good game that just released for a fair price and that is just fun to play. I mean, no matter what state Diablo would have been in at that point, uh, I would have played Last Epoch regardless because it's just a good game. I mean, did some people desperately look for a new game? Yes, but they already were looking for a new game before season three, right? I mean, there, there's a bunch of people that have, that, that have given up on Diablo for a long while already. That are like the only, the only Diablo they're playing is Reddit and Twitter where they whine about it. But, but it's been a while since they have actually played Diablo, you know? I mean, the amount of people that literally played season one and then haven't played since season one but still daily complain about the game is actually quite interesting you could say that uh, last epoch is dead in player base comparison i mean you could say that pell world is dead have you seen pell world shot pell world had two million players and right now they are currently at 100k players or so it, it definitely has nothing to do with people just having done everything in the game and just being done with it for, for now. Uh, no, Pell World is dead. And it got killed by Pokemon. Listen. It is done. I don't know why or what Pokemon did to kill it, but, but they definitely did. Okay, facts. If you say different, you're just lying to yourself and you're denying reality. Facts. And it's also quite sad to see how you're lying to yourself and done not denying reality. Do you use to do you use Army of the Dead whenever it goes up? I try to keep it for big elites or something. Okay, let's see what we're having. We have damage reduction, minions. Uh, we got the priest. We got the army of the dead. Uh, and we need grasping veins. Last thing missing, occultist. Thank you, Haru, for the seven months and broken mischief for the two years of support. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Knights of the Round Stable. Thank you very much for the ongoing support. It was funny how fast Pellworld died. Pellworld is not dead. Pellworld did everything they they correct. I mean, they sold millions of copies. They had millions of players. They broke every single record possible. Every person enjoyed the game. And you know, after putting hundred hours in Pellworld, you're you're just kind of dead with done with Pellworld. I mean, you know. And Nintendo lawyers got them. Yeah, Nintendo lawyers got them. It's just sad to see when games, when games, game news, um, write articles like this. I mean, obviously articles like this are complete clickbait and get a lot of views, but it's just see, just like it's just really, really, really sad to see when when that's our games journalism, because obviously as a game journalist, you're smart enough to understand how games work should be smart enough to understand how games work and if you're not then like get the fucking find a new job
Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, pick up that potion. We are now with level 54 here. We have already been here with level 50 and it was a hassle, but now we get the cult leader note. And why is the cult leader note so amazing? Because we already have frenzy death. That's 68% attack speed. We have 36% attack speed from the Paragon node. So with this together, we're actually already at the 150% bonus damage. You have your minions just go super minions and kill everything, right? We got to look out that the elites are not killing us essentially. And obviously right now I just triggered army of the dead to have like a very beginning cool damage boost. But I have to say my minions are still doing absolutely incredible damage. And that's just the power of the cult leader node because 150% multiplier. So all, all damage your minions essentially deal, right? All damage they deal right now. And then, then that damage times 150%. Bam. I mean, look, look at them. Oh, I can actually change my... I can get even more damage because I put my skeletal mages for shadow mages. Why is that a thing? Uh, well, it is because I don't need essence anymore. So usually I do use essence, right? But I swap at some point to an essence list build uh, where I don't use a spender. The only spender I actually use is my curse. Yep, level 54 capstone dungeon. So we have three hours and 28 minutes, chat. So that will be world tier four in under in under four hours. And that's without without tryharding, right? We, we've been we've been, be, we've been we've been rather casual about this. Ow! You almost pooped on me. The crazy part is, do you see my armor, Chad? I currently have seven thousand armor. I have 7,000 armor already. What? It's brilliant. Minions are minions now, yes. My, I, I've reached uh, beyond level 100 in the pit with minions. I have killed Uber Lilith in one millisecond. And I've killed tormented bosses with minions too. And I'm not even having the, like all the affixes I need. Because right now minions have really cool affixes. Your helmet, your chest, your pants, and your boots can all have skeletal mage mastery or skeletal warrior mastery or even both. So they can boost the damage of your lads even more. I'm, I'm not even sure which one is worth it more to boost your mages or your warriors. Technically, I always tend to boost the mages because you're actually standing close to them, right? So the biggest problem is with your warriors that in order to boost your warriors damage with Hellbank Commander, you actually need to stand close to them, but well, we're not. My favorite part is really this unyielding commander 200 percent damage boost and and that's that's again the very interesting part with the cult leader note why i want it so early so if i now activate the 200 percent damage boost right then my minions are getting plus 200 percent damage that's not that much but it's plus 200 percent more damage and that plus 200 percent more damage they're getting times the 150 percent and this is this is why your minions are doing so much damage, right? During the duration of Army of the Dead, essentially turns them into into nuclear overloaded super soldiers. Because as soon as that one triggers, like all all their all their awesomeness is multiplying. <coughs> Mages can ca cast twice with a temper. Yes, the mage double cast with a temper is definitely worth it. Um, but I'm, I'm again, not sure what, what is, what is better, right? Is it better to have the mages cast twice? Is it better to boost your warrior damage? Because warrior damage is really easy to boost. Um, also you have one more warrior than mages. So you have six warriors while you only have five mages. So it, it's going to be, it's going to be an intriguing choice, uh, which to choose, especially if you're looking into the skill tree. So warriors are getting... Uh, only 15% damage per level while mages are getting 20% damage per level. So if you're actually planning to increase the ranks, 
then it makes more sense to get ranks in the mage thingy because the mage multiplier is higher, right? The same kind of goes for Golem. Golem actually gets 25% damage per, per mastery level. That means that boosting the Golem is also a no-brainer because that is one of the highest boosters you can do. Also, by the way, this compared currently to... Again, we tried to... Ah! We tried to do this at level 50 and it was hard. And now with level 54, it's a joke again. Has the minion AI increased? Yes. So what happens is that your minions are running up front. So I'm standing here and look where my minions are positioned. The warriors up front, the mages behind, and the warriors are like, like look, they're actively trying to push forward. Uh, I think the golem should do the same. So I'm, I'm running, I'm stopping, and the minions are running forward. So they're actively trying to engage the opponent, which is great. It works really good. I think if your golem would do the same, that's fantastic. The problem is your mate, uh, your warriors can get stuck on corners really hard and then actually not move anymore. So it is far from being perfect yet. It is better though. Like like definitely from, from what we had before, minions actually enter a room. Like usually if you want to enter a room, you have to push into the room first and then you have to blood mist out again to have your follow your minions but right now i just have to stand still for a second and my minions are already charging ahead and being aggressive just exactly how you want them to be and what you expect from them so that's good um there's one thing they still need to change so in the pit when you're fighting the boss uh you like i'm running around the boss in circles to avoid the damage correct and my minions are technically attacking the boss. But that's a technically because they are technically attacking the boss. But every now and then in between, they just they just start following me. But I don't want my minions to follow me, right? I want my minions to only interact with the boss at that point. Um And that that can be that can be like a bit harsh because like you're trying to essentially avoid the environmental damage. You're trying to not die. And your minions are like, oh, you know what? You're running in a circle. We should run in a circle too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so that, that, that's like the only downside. You know, <laughs> it's, it's like he's running in a circle. We should we should do we, we should follow him. Like this this is the way. Like no, this is not the way. Stop. This is this is not. I repeat, this is not the way. No, listen, listen. We're doing it. Life. And that's the problem with the golem, for example. Your golem is stupid as fuck. So they made they made the minions actually really capable and really good. And that, that's actually nice. So, so the minions are insane. Um, but your golem is stupid. I mean, the, the, like where, where your skeletal warriors actually have a bit of leeway and they're not so tethered to you, right? And they have a bit more room to act. Your golem literally sticks to your butthole. Like he's, he's sniffing your crack continuously and he doesn't stop. He lives inside of you, right? And not, not a little bit. Like you, you I, I take one step and he follows me. Right, he, he could be fully engaged into an opponent. Like he could be, a, all, he could be throwing hands right now with someone, correct? But as soon as I take one step, he's like, nah, 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 nah. We can't be throwing hands anymore. This is not possible. Sorry. My, my master has moved. I need to follow. <sighs> it can be tedious. It can be tedious. What I would find good, for example, is if the mages would always try to be around me. Why? Because you have Hellbent Commander, right? Hellbent Commander works only if you're close to your minions. I want that changed. Because right now, the effect of Hellbent Commander is actually really fucking sad. Look at his HP. Chat, look at his HP. Done. Woo! Get fucked! So, yeah. Um, the skill of Hellbent Commander says... Your minions deal 45% increased damage while you're close to them. Okay. So these guys are getting 45% damage increase right now, indicated by blue glowing hands. These guys not. 
If I want these guys to have the damage, I need to walk close to them. If I walk close to them, they walk away from me. Let's go in the middle of the room and face this direction. See, the minions are running away from me. I'm trying to get close to them for 45% damage increase. I'm trying to get close to them. I'm trying to get close to them. I'm trying to get close. You get the drift, right? <laughs> so so they they're just they're just leaving you, right? That's that's uh... Yeah. That's why Hellbent Commander I, I don't know to what would you change it to like i'm looking for feedback here that i could get blizzard guys either you take the close to them away correct so so you could you could take the your minions deal 45 percent increased damage while you're close to them so you could take the close away but i feel like it might be too good uh maybe you could remove it for you could increase the priest effect by 30 percent, so the priest does more uh, well, if they are alive for 10 seconds, if they're healthy, you can make it a temporary buff. Yes. You could turn it into if you're away from them instead of close to them. You could make it while I'm healthy, minions get more damage. That's actually interesting because that could break. So while I'm healthy, minions get 45% damage. So if I would take damage, they wouldn't get the damage boost. So that would be interesting. Uh, we could remove the close and remove the damage multiplier. I would be okay with that. So if you say, um, if you say only 30% instead of 45, but you remove the close, that's fine to me. That's 15% damage less, but it would always work. Okay, so now we're level 54 and we're world tier 4. Okay, chat, 54, world tier 4. The problem is we couldn't do anything in world tier 4. Okay, so world tier four right now would be too hard for us. We we like any anything like we attempt to do is gonna kill us. What we could still do is strongholds, right? So that one hasn't changed. We haven't, for example, done our carnes. Uh, we haven't done the ruins of Ra 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 A formation system for minions could be suggested to Blizzard. Uh, too complicated, but I would like it. I cannot do that here. Um, so you don't last for five seconds. I like that one. So we could say close to them. Uh, if you're close to your minions, they get a 45 damage boost for five seconds. That means I could run in circles around my minions and essentially keep touching them, right? So if it, if it was a if it was a time conditional value, that's actually quite quite cute. I like that. So so it's kind of like I run to my mages. They're five seconds long having the boost. Then I go away from the mages and I go to my warriors and they're getting the five second boost. And then I go like I would essentially have to ping pong between my minions, but it would be better than what we have right now. I mean I would still not be one hundred percent happy, but it's it's better than what we have right now. You never did strongholds. Strongholds are insane. We're going into world tier four right now. Okay. Below four hours, world tier four guys, three hours and 40 minutes. The thing is that every single minion is currently level 70, actually level 75, right? Yeah. yeah. So every, every single minion is level 75 and I'm level 54. So they are 21 levels higher. Uh, that's a stinker. Um, I, I would just get my ass handed to me. Uh, the interesting part is that this stronghold gives me 250% bonus XP. So I'm still getting 250% bonus XP, right? But the minions are level 56. That's why it's so interesting. I mean, if you're looking at my XP bar, my XP bar is just it's just flying upwards. Right? When I, we're killing minions and, and my XP bar is just going places. As it should. I already have like one level up made again. And the best outcome would be finding a Legion event right now. Here, this Legion event in two minutes. We're going to do that because that Legion event should give me a couple of levels. I actually got to try to finish this one here really, really quick. So I could go for a Legion event in time. It's level 55 now. Perfection.
We, we don't have time to play around. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Ain't everybody got time for that? <laughs> triple summon. That's the best one if you can actually get the triple bracer off. Because then we can kill these dudes. Look at that instant death. Next one. Come on. Come on. Pull them out. Pull them out. Do it. Stop stalling. Name Mariah. Instant den. Sir Morehold. Instant den. Winions. Do you think they should redo the passive for minions? Uh, which passive? Which one are we talking about? Did Druid Companions get an improvement? Yes, they also get 100% of your stats. Is the 30% Skeletal Priest buff not worth keeping up? It is, but uh, like you don't need it here. When I use the Skeletal Priest buff as often as I can, especially because it's healing me and buffing me too. Okay. The last one in the skill tree, you mean Kellen's Addict? Kellen's Addict is actually working currently because it's giving me 36% bonus um, attack speed. What I would like to see is that Kellen's Addict would either give our minions also more damage or uh, that we get another boost in minions. So I think the, the key passive is, is in a better state than ever. Okay, step one, key passive is in a better state than ever, but it's not good enough yet. Because again, if you compare the Kellen's Addict, Kellen's Addict is only good if you combine it with a Paragon board, okay? So, so this attack speed buff is only good if the Paragon board is there as well. That means that the key passive alone is not good. Every other key passive is good alone. This is good alone, this is good alone, this is good alone. They don't need anything bonus. Now, now I, I feel like the, the key passive should say, uh, your minions gain attack speed for each active minion, and you get another skill to worry and priest plus. For for example, I don't know what you think about that as a worry and mage plus or two even. But like we currently have eleven minions, the only way how we could get more minions is over the aspect. But I kind of feel like we're we're playing minions, right? So so we should get something. Or if you take Kellen's Addict, that your priest from the skeleton raising is improved. So right now, the raised skeleton gives us uh, damage and life. But what if it would give us damage reduction too? Think about it, chat. Think about it for a second. Okay, what is what is Necromancer struggling with? Damage reduction with nothing else. So if you take Kellen's Addict, then the priest is now also giving us a damage reduction aura that me and my minions could survive better. That is currently the biggest problem that Necro has in any capacity, especially minion Necro. And if we would have then Kellen's Addict give us also a bonus of damage reduction, that would kind of solve the problem to a bit. It's just like that if you compare like th this one, the Shadow Black Key passive can do millions of damage. The Rathmus Vigor can do millions of damage. And Ossified Essence Key passive can do millions of damage. And then you have Kellen's Edict, which gives 36% attack speed. <laughs> they definitely did better, but I think they're currently lacking a little bit of imagination, right? So they're they are working with what they have, but they're not thinking about new stuff, if that makes sense to you. It, it's, it's kind of like, okay, we have these things, how do we improve them? But not what's the next step like how do we innovate here how do we make things better right and that's currently i think the biggest problem but it's also a lot to ask of them because they are currently trying to have to save the game right <laughs> so so they have to save the game they have to make the new seasons they have to make sure that the new expansion is working so they have a lot on their plane uh, still though i mean it would be good if if the base elements of the game like one class would actually work can 
and i feel like i'm not i'm not asking for much but i would just like you know my my base class to work please Oh, by the way, can the pit be used for leveling chant? This is the question we've been asking ourselves, right? I mean, the pit is currently level 100 monsters, so I can't enter this right now. But what I really would like to know if the pit can actually be used for leveling. Does it, does it give XP? So that was now one, one Legion event and one stronghold. Uh, we would do another stronghold. That's the Onyx Watchtower. Yep, always do the Onyx Watchtower. New unique corpse explosion raises a random mage skelly warrior for five seconds. I mean, like, let's not talk about key passives and corpse explosion, guys, because we have bone, shadow, uh, we have bone, shadow, blood, minions. Where's the corpse key passive? We have corpse skills, corpse skills, corpse skills, corpse skills, and corpse skills. Where's the key passive for that? Where's my super corpse explosion key passive? Where's the key passive that turns corpse explosion into a nuclear bomb? so that I can hold the corpse explosion button and it charges the corpse explosion button up. And if I then let go of the button, then the corpse explosion does 2000% more damage and the whole screen blankets in a gigantic explosion for a second and everyone is blinded. Where is that? Like, like, a, like a corpse supernova, right? You hold the button and it keeps sucking in all the corpses and it gets like bigger, bigger and bigger and, this and just tears everything apart. I'm a simple man, chat. I don't want much. I just want that. Okay. I don't want much. Just that. <laughs> See, that, that's what I'm talking about. Like, like this, this is the level of, of, of thought process we're missing. Because it's just like, how can we make Kellen's Attic better? Oh, yeah. We're going to give it even more attack speed. I mean, seriously. So, what are the updates to Kellen's Addict? Let's 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 pull this through our mind. Kellen's Addict used to give you attack speed if you have seven minions. Yes. <laughs> then then they hired. Then they took away the minions. You don't need to have minions anymore. Then they boosted the amount of attack speed. So. So, so that's like, it's like currently the the amount of innovation that the key passive has seen, right? I mean, let's compare this to the innovation that the shadow black key passive has seen. So the shadow black key passive has done what it always did, right? You know what they added? Shadow blight's damage is increased by one hundred percent of your shadow damage over time bonus. Okay, so the Shadow Blight key passive, which was already insane, which did already amazing amounts of damage, now finally gets more damage the more damage over time you have. So the already very strong skill that was already very strong got made even stronger. For for Kellen's Attic, they they you don't just have to have a minimal amount of minions anymore. Yeah. And and you get more attack speed. <laughs> they're they're really they're they're just lacking imagination I could use someone like you correct no I offense blizzard then die. then die but what if i don't want to die what then huh What, what if I don't want to die? Okay, what is my resistance is saying? Yeah, great. So coming, coming by the way, back to the topic of resistances quickly, guys. So this is how resistances are looking right now in this world tier without being able to upgrade my gear, correct? So usually we would have this ring, that ring, and that ring upgraded that we would have more resistances. 
And now, even if I would take resistance on gear, correct? I have 33 poison resistance here, for example, right? We, we have we have some resistance cooking. But even if you take that resistance, you're, you're not getting anywhere. And you're supposed to be at 75. <sighs> Harsh. And let's let's just walk out of here and see if we can kill things. Corpse explosion reunites all corpses to a mega zombie. Hey, I wouldn't mind some kind of abomination. Ah, uh, 70, sorry, not 75. But if you if you look at the normal overworld, so the normal overworld is now 75 here, correct? I mean the normal overworld I can kill. As long as there are not too many elites. As long as they're not too much elemental damage, I can I can handle the normal overworld. Actually, quite nice how strong you are at this point. See, we're, 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 we're out, and then you just die. And you just die to one thing. Max armor, max rest, you still get two shot. Well, it's it, like you need max armor, max rest, damage reduction, and then you still get two shot. I mean, tier 100 dungeon, if you have max armor and max rest and a good amount of damage reduction, then in tier 100 dungeons, you're usually safe from the one shots. But in the pit right now, you're not safe anywhere. But that, that is partially the fault of there is just not enough damage reduction in the game right now. It, it sounds a bit stupid, but due to them actually taking the damage reduction out, there is not enough damage reduction in the game anymore. To actually damage reduce you enough for the end game. That's why, by the way, don't recommend anyone going for um, hardcore right now. I mean, playing hardcore is brave. Don't get me wrong. But if you're on the PDR or anything, or, or generally like, like, you know, with season four, hardcore will be... Kind of brave to play, considering the changes that are currently... Okay, my minions are not dying, and they're just killing everything. This is crazy. I thought I will be consigned to actually be doing... Um... Should we Should we try to walk into a Helltide, Chad? I'm pretty sure I'm going to get my ass handed to me. Let's, let's just try Helltide for a second. Telaris, take care. Thank you very much for being here. Everyone, hope you're enjoying your day. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Thank you for the subs, the lurks, the chats, and, and especially for the discussions. I mean, again, like we, we like to complain a lot and complaining is important now, but reasonable complaining. We, we want Diablo to be in a good state. We want to give feedback. We want to tell Blizzard what they're screwing up and what they're doing good. Because let's be fair, they're doing also some things good. The the base minion changes. Oh god, flamethrower, flamethrower. The base minion changes are actually fantastic, and they're doing well. I'm I'm generally happy with what they have done to minions, for example. Um, I'm generally happy with with temporary and master working. Right, the pit also generally happy with it, like with the concepts. Not happy with tormented bosses because useless, sad face. <laughs> So that, that one Blizzard has to answer for still. Please please make tormented bosses somewhat somewhat useful. Not a complete waste of everyone's time. Has anyone, by the way, killed any tormented boss but Grigoire? Because the only tormented boss I've killed so far is Greg the Gavanic Saint, because it, it, he's the only one where the materials are actually achievable. Every other tormented boss has unachievable. I die here because of frost. Every other tormented boss has absolutely unachievable um, materials. There's like, there's like no way I'll get them together. Leave me alone. By the way, we haven't tempered a single time. So, so just in case you wonder, did we engage in tempering and master working until this point? No. We haven't tempered or master worked a single time yet. 
because we didn't see a reason to by the way all this gear is level 60 exactly so tempering or master working has not been in any capacity needed to actually advance now you could say i could have tempered and master worked for some resistances and that that is true uh my main problem is just i don't know if i have the resistance temper in low level enough to actually use so so that that's a little bit of the issue but yeah so so technically we could have tempered if we have the resistance temper but i just i just don't know it that's why i couldn't use that yet uh let's by the way kick this one out and what we have Red abyssal darkness dead razor desecration essence essence every point of dex is more crit Arshan got killed in Duriel by Baskinator, so that, that's good to see. I mean, it's not like they're unkillable. I just would just wanted to know if some people actually farmed the resources for that. Right? I guess Uber Duriel probably has farmable resources. Just do it for XP and don't care for the Cinders. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't care for the Cinders, that's for sure. The problem is, I think if you die, your hell meter also gets reset. I just noticed this for the first time. Did anyone else notice that before? But it does seem like that if you die, your Hellmark meter goes goes to zero again. That is actually a bummer. Because you're working all the time on that thread of the hell tide, right? Oh god, we're not getting that hellborn dude killed. Wait, did the other dude run away? No, they're still here. Dude, you're 100. You should absolutely destroy that guy. What are you doing? Why do I have to do your job for you? You're a barbarian. Where's the DPS? You know what I could do in this world tier? I could put my golem to the blood golem finally. Because usually I play the Blood Golem, um, since the Blood Golem gives us 30% damage reduction. It might be finally time. Uh, yep. We're gonna do that. 30% damage reduction is kinda nice. Diablo 4 crashing your graphic drivers. Ooh, that sounds bad. I mean, I have to say graphic-wise or performance-wise, I haven't had faced any issues. Um, well, no, actually interesting. Diablo used to have some... No, no, no. These stutters were... That was uh, Elden Ring with the stutters. Diablo didn't have any stutters. Um, so, yeah, but like, like from a performance standpoint, game has been running plenty well. Given RX 6700. That's sad. I mean, I have a, I have a, like, also a AMD graphic card, but the next generation. So usually when you get the adrenaline pop-up message, I would, I would recommend wiping the graphic drivers completely from your PC. And there's a DDU graphic uninstaller. It's literally called that. Okay, so if you ever have graphic driver issues, guys. Uh, you, you you get the DDU uninstaller uh, to, to completely wipe the drivers from your PC and then try that out. There's an alternative hustler. You could try out the production drivers. So AMD has two drivers. AMD has drivers, uh, the adrenaline aiming drivers, and then they have the productivity drivers. The productivity drivers are technically meant if you do CAD software, 3D work and whatsoever. But in your case, you could try out if these productivity drivers, if the other one is crashing for you, might actually work better. You can find them on their website. They're called the QP4, some, something in that direction. I don't remember. I, I've been actually using them on my streaming PC for, for better streaming um, performance, which has been working great. So yeah, um, that's, that's something you could give a try potentially. I mean, if it doesn't work, then, well, I mean, what, what do you have to lose? 
right? What, what do you have to lose? What's the worst thing that happens? It works, right? I mean, like, it's already crashing, so it can't, can't get worse than that. Ah! Oh, that's a temper manual. I need it. I mean, levels are crazy, right? We, like, since since we entered this one, we've been making two levels. It's actually really nice. Keep, keep away from the shamans because they, they just decided to kill me. Dude, dude, the damage of my minions is crazy. I, di I didn't think they would do th this much damage. Aha, you almost had me there. Almost. Like, I genuinely didn't believe minions would, would like, when I, when I go world tier 4. But the problem is, usually you enter world tier 4 and your minions get weaker. Okay? So that, that's what happens. You enter world tier 4, your minions get weaker, they start dying, shit, shit hits the fan, it gets annoying. Right? That, that's the main problem with minions. Uh, but right now, I, I entered world tier 4. I, I went essentially instantly for the Helltide. And we're, we're, now, we're now just banging through the Helltide, right? Truly, minions, Chan. Okay. Oh, one last thing with the graphic drivers. Um, it could have to do with your RAM for no apparent reason, but some, sometimes there's a weird interaction between graphic drivers and RAM. So you could you could essentially try also resetting um, your RAM XMP profile, whatever you have running there. Unlikely that that's a thing, but just saying, you know, like, I hope that helps in any way with your issues. Tech Religious Ring is a no-brainer. Yes, Tech Religious Ring is a no-brainer. The item is way too good, especially because you can masterwork it. I kind of, I kind of like the fact that they allow us to masterwork items. What I like even more is the trading of legendaries, guys. I mean, imagine next season, I find a perfect Ring of Tech Religious Souls. I'm going to use it. But if I find a second one, I can give that to chat. I mean, I find a little as wall, I, I take it. I find a second one, chat gets it. I'm, 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 I'm so happy about that. I mean, also like you're going with four people to do do real, right? And, and then you ask each other, what did you drop? And do you need that? Correct. When you're like you're you're doing Durial and you're looking for the Banished Lord's Talisman and you're dropping another T-Bald's Will that you don't need, and you're gonna ask your friend, "Hey, did you drop Banished Lord's?" And he's like, "Sure, here you go." And you're like, "Do you want T-Bald's Will? No problem. There you go." That's actually that's that's that is so good. Like especially because you tend to do these bosses with four people. I mean, see what did we do, guys? I needed Temerity, correct? I needed Temerity, we did Lord Zer, and Temerity dropped for one of our community members, and he gave it to me. So that was super cool, but we actually did Lord Zer with four people, right? And uh, like, like, like you, you, you can just mix and match and trade what you need or don't need with, with your friends, the way it should be. D4 auction house is going to be crazy with a season four. Yeah, I'm a bit scared about all the real world money transactions that's going to be happening behind the scenes. But on the other hand, like, do I give a fuck? I mean, like, if some people want to pay real money for items, then like, like, yeah, do it. Right. I mean, if they're there, yes, there will be real money trading. Yes, there will be real item money trading. People will find ways to third party monetize this somehow. People will get banned for it. Uh, it will happen inevitably. But like, I mean, if you want, like, if, if you want to do that with your money, then then like, I mean, it's your money, right? What, what, what am I? What am I supposed to say? Like, like, it's your money, right? You're an adult. If you want to spend your money for that, spend your money for that. It's the same like buying materials for Duriel. I mean, if you want to buy materials for Duriel with your real money, 
I'm, a, I'm not your grandma. I'm not your nanny. I'm not, I'm not your real father. I'm just your sexy internet cyber daddy, right? Um, do whatever you want. It's a free country, you know, America. Eagles, guns, lightning, rainbows, um, ro robots, Tesla, rockets. Whatever, whatever floats your bone. Right? The D3 real... Well, I don't think there should ever be a real money auction house in the game. I didn't like it in D3. And I don't think a real money auction house is the way to go, personally. Uh, I mean, like, again, if people want to do some shady third-party side stuff where they where they spend their hard-earned money on, on items, like especially in seasonal items. I mean, that's the crazy part, right? Let's, let's assume you would decide to spend your money on an item in the seasonal realm. And then after three months, that's gone. But like, again, do what you want, but might as well subscribe to the Pony Hop, right? I mean, at least, at least that entertainment doesn't go away. But before you do that, right? Right, Chad? Might as well subscribe here right now, instead. Yeah, are you not already bankrupt with cosmetics? Exactly. Before you, before you buy anything with real money, could you, could you please buy yourself uh, cosmetics in the store? Thank you. <laughs> could you, could you please just buy cosmetics from the store? appreciation oh someone is being invaded here but yeah i'm i'm generally happy about the trading i mean yes it will be abused but i mean whenever whenever any kind of trading is possible whenever there's a there's a way to earn money with something people will find ways to abuse it that's just how humans work that's just how it is right like uh okay are are there are there like a bit many items dropping here right now i mean the problem is i am hell marked my like my dudes here around me are hell marked uh, so so there's one or two hellborn already around here so i, I feel like we're all uh, oh god jesus we're all kind of hell marked right This is a crazy event. This is just three players being very close to each other and three players being hell marked. But that's literally like it's it's not even an event, right? It's it's just all, all of us being hell marked. And that's why why this is like happening here right now. My inventory is full. It's unlucky. I mean, at least I'm finally finding some temper manuals, so that's a good thing. Imagine getting invaded because you helped off fighting off an invasion. Yep. <laughs> the the invasionception. Okay, we need to just trash all the yellow items. Chan. All the yellow items shall be trashed. Not while I'm in town. Pain for us. Only keep the legendary items because four affixes. Giant, giant mistake, but hey, there we go. I loved season two, the blood, uh, the blood harvest. Yes, and Helltide looks insane right now. Yes. Oh, hello there, random phantoms. How are you? How are you doing, mates? Speak to the survivors. Spoken to the survivors. I mean, right now we're just positively flying through the levels. We have it four hours in, guys, and we're almost level 60. And with level 60, the game begins. Why does with level 60 the game begin? Because with level 60, you're in world tier four, and you can put you can uh, put on all the ancestral gear. 
that's why i usually say like like 60 is the point to reach and that's when fr from that point on it's like you're in the end game right that's when officially the game starts because with 60 i'm gonna put on my ancestral gear you're instantly getting another stat boost because you're going crazy and uh then with level then you could instantly with level 60 start doing tier 30 nightmare dungeons to boost your glyphs and then as you do tier 30 nightmare dungeons to actually boost your glyphs um you're gonna then slowly work into the direction of um 925 gear because as soon as you can do a tier 41 dungeon tier 41 is what you're looking for that's when 925 gear drops right so that that's your goal currently get to tier 41 as soon as possible and i think tier 41 is currently level 65 to 70. uh that's usually when i'm able to do tier 41s especially with minions right now so i think 65 to 70 is is probably when i would start clearing 41s then i get 925 gear and then i can start master working that 925 gear so that's actually pretty pretty decent progression yeah that's that's how i usually do do treat the game and then and then the cool thing is then you could do tier 41 dungeons right to get the 925 gear then you get the 925 gear then you can actually start tempering for real um and and then as soon as you are able to clear tier 45 you can also start master working but for that you need the 925 gear first correct You're losing the accent, it's work. So when you're when you're German and you're speaking English, you actively gotta work on uh, losing that German touch. Uh, it has a lot to do how Germans perceive English grammar because a lot of English sentences are weird to Germans because they grammatically don't make sense, at least not in a German way. Um, so yeah, you lose that over time and then you have to work actively on your th pronunciation so you're not and stuff gets better right is bloodless screen good i don't want to tell you that it's not not good so i'm going to tell you that it's decent and super amazing like you just you just hit a jackpot broth i'm up but seriously it's it's fun but it falls more under the you can make a fun build with it then this is a good unique to play okay so with a bloodless scream you can make a very interesting freeze necro a freeze necro actually does exist yes um some frost shadow damage damage over time uh desecrated ground fun funcy funcy necro so you can do that um but but it's not a good one like, so so you can do it right Let's see if you drop an uber by the time you get 100. I don't think I'm going to push the character all the way to 100. Uh, because right now, the again, the important leveling part is 1 to 60. After you've gotten 1 to 60, I mean, like, again, as soon as I hit level 60 right now, it's just the standard progression of Nightmare Dungeon into Glyph XP into, into ba 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 so you're like like it's not it's not a hard progression anymore before your decisions matter so from what level do you do the capstone dungeon on which level do you actually start going for you know world tier three how do you do world tier three if you then get to world tier four how are you going to do your start into world tier four so so all these decisions they're actually interesting decisions right to to make you go smoother through the game whereas as soon as you're then like at the level i am at right now um when you're level 60 there there's no difficult decisions anymore there's just like scheme abc to work down and then you get max level is there a build you wish that was viable i think all like there's no necro build right now that ain't viable you can play anything so you can you can play the bone spirit necro you can play the bone spear shadow but um uh, here here what's called again sever uh you can you can do you can do blood wave necro blood lawns all these kind of things like everything is possible and the crazy part is that the that the blood necros which always suffer from essence production so so the the blood necros had always essence problems we solved that the the new affixes allow you to completely bypass any essence issues ever 
you can completely at this point be like, oh, you know what? Instead of essence issues, we're just go for essence per second. Right? So, so you're literally never going to have an essence problem again with the with the right set of equipment. And you open a chest now to get more XP. Uh, I wanted to open the 275 chest because I'm greedy as fuck. So yes, could, but but greedy as fuck. Oh, someone is getting, uh, someone is getting hell marked, ladies and gentlemen. So, so right now, this dude here is hell marked. He's being attacked. This is, this is where really the hell tide gets the most fun right now. If multiple people are hell marked and they're just fighting for their life, and all these demons are spawning on top of each other, and look at my XP bar. You can, you can visibly see my XP bar moving right now. Right. Versus these Hellmark dudes. I mean, there, there's just demons like crazy popping out of existence. And I'm I'm just I'm just pumping my levels through. See, there is level 60 now. Ladies and gentlemen, level 60 in four hours and 18 minutes. Without essentially breaking a sweat. Uh-oh. There's two Hellborn. No, that's too much. I can't handle that. Okay, 925. Why do I have a 925 item? Well, that's it. 925 helmet, ladies and gentlemen. An 803 wand with an 8... 46 thingy 890 boots I need more time. Right, we're, we're just picking we're just picking up items here chat come on give me more and see the interesting part is that the, the helmet is actually good it's even a it's even a greater fx helmet right when i said you're not gonna get a better helmet in no time Actually, that one is greater FX2. 21% healing received would, would work for my one build. That guy is atrocious. He did. No, 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 no. Don't elemental damage me. This is too fast. Is it though? Is it though? I mean, the leveling is the least interesting part. So I'm, I'm technically like I'm going through the leveling really fast to then be able to enjoy the end game earlier. Now you could say that is too fast and I don't like it and that's okay. Like it's understandable if you, if you don't like it, you don't like it. I mean, you're, you're allowed your opinion. I'm fine with going very fast through this. Okay, intelligence, maximum life, and essence on kill. This is maximum life, damage, and critical strike chance. See, that's so much better. Jeez. And this is even the slow leveling. So the question was now, Chad, do you think we could straight up do a tier 30 dungeon? Right? So I reached level 60, and I told you with level 60, you could straight up begin doing tier 30s. Right? What we're going to do now is, I don't even know if I have the materials. Aren't using elixirs because we're just testing. Don't need elixirs. Oh, that's a 925 chest. Woo! Let's go! That's a 925 weapon. Woo! Let's fucking go! Okay, so I could take the 925 weapon now and actually temper it, correct? So we have, what do we, we have summoning augments. That's minion attack speed. So we would augment this now, minion attack speed bonus, 9.5%. That's max roll. Then we would take offensive augment and we can go for profane 
Bone finesse. Summoning finesse is summoning damage, scale to mage damage or golem damage. So we could do that too. Summoning damage. So my summons do more damage as well. There you have it. Then we have the 925 helmet and the 925 helmet can get a bigger curse duration. That's actually Shin. A bigger curse duration. If I get bigger curse duration one more time, we're, we're, we're throwing hands. Oh godness, we're throwing hands. <laughs> we're throwing hands right now. Okay, decrepify size, and you could obviously go for maximum life. Or armor. I usually go for armor percentage because dodge chance is bad. By the way, we're actually bricking this item currently. We have two more temper rolls, right? So total armor percentage. Ta-da. That's, that's two items master worked. And then you would have to take this one actually to the to the vendor. Now we'd have to say, you know what? We don't like the healing received affix, and we want to have that to be bonus armor. Ta-da, 8,000 armor. That was quite simple. Oh, now we have to go to the occultist again, though. And we have to put the occult Shamambo Bambo on it, right? And I'd have to take this and put the aspect of the hardened bones on it. That would be hardened bones, Shamambo Bambo. That would be unyielding commander. And that would currently be grasping veins. See, then you would have like a very good build already. The rest of your stuff you could completely throw in the trash because it's all worse than what we have right now. And then we would go to the occultist again because we were just there multiple times. And we would craft a tier 26 to 30. And I would get a 29, 30, 30. Okay, Tormented Ruins, tier 30. As I said, I'm fresh, I'm fresh level 60, right? We have just gotten there. We don't have anything ancestral. We should technically be able to go crazy. What build would you recommend for someone that reached 100 level for the first time? Which which class? See, like from a damage standpoint, this is now this is now level 84 opponents. Okay, I am I am level 60. This is level 84 opponents. I mean, they do damage, right? But just from a damage standpoint, can I can I go through this? Can I get this done? The answer is very easy. Because because minions are just good for right now. And the good thing is, I open this door and my minions finally walk in, right? So this is this is the biggest change to generally how it works. That I can open a door, wait, and my minions walk in. Open door. And I finally don't have to be like the, the first one to always enter. Open door. And my minions just charge in and then they make corpses and i can then use my corpse production to obviously hurt everyone that's a very novel fun change okay so since i can do a tier 30 right now guys do you think i could do a 41 hey child what do you think so this is a tier 30 which is kind of greedy already but do you think i could do a tier 41 level 60 worth a try i mean why are minions doing right now so much damage because minions are obviously scaling with your stats correct and i just picked up a 925 weapon so 925 weapon is the most amount of damage that you can get right now so if minions are basically or from a base standpoint scaling with your stats then i just increased my minions damage so much because they're basically a scaling with a base damage of my weapon too right and that's also the reason why why minions are going so crazy right now right I'm not ready. 
A corpse shell will one hit me. Ah, perfection. What did I get? Chest armor. Not 925. I don't want it. See, I, w I wouldn't even waste like my my non 925 gear to do anything uh, my, my my tempering or so for for anything that's not 925. And this is a tier 30. Looks pretty simple, right? Now we need to go for the chamber of calling because there's a boss waiting for us. The minions are again pushing ahead. What do you, what do you think so far, John? Does this look good and relaxing? Do you do you like the minions level build? I mean, it didn't look like we struggled throughout our journey of leveling a single time, right? It, I think it, it, it's pretty fun. I, I hope you could learn the one or the other thing from, from this leveling journey so far. That razor. I hope you could learn the one or the other thing from the new level journey. Well, we still have to wait until the 14th, right? So this is all just us testing things. We still have to wait a lot. Okay, boss now. Dungeon boss, dungeon boss. L, greetings to the EU from the EU. And bye! So, now I can start leveling up uh, Debt Razor because that's the most important one. That's minion damage and minion damage uh, modifier. Ryan? So that was that was the 30 dungeon with a fresh 16. Now let's see what we can do. That's an 859 ring. It has critical strike chance, lucky hit chance, and intelligence. Sure. It's a, it's a better oh, that has skeletal warrior mastery on it i'm not gonna keep that one on a yellow gear you have two half phases how do you get third no uh the yellow gear is useless so tempering is only for for legendaries so if you want to temper you take yourself a legendary and then you add a defensive one thank, thank you very much probably life would be good i hate you dodge chance if i get dodge chance one more time i'm gonna punch you in the face you stupid shit. Thank you very much. So now you go for profane innovation and you're also getting corpse tendril size. I think Iron Maiden size. Crepify, I forget to crepify size one more time. Corpse tendril size. Thank you very much. So so that that's how you're tempering around with these items. Uh, then we're going for him and we're crafting a 41. So this is very important now because... Uh, 41 let's hope that we get a 41 50 47 50 43 43 so a 43 right now is dropping 925 gear and if i can do a level 43 with level 60 then we're essentially getting 925 gear so you can't three fx a yellow item yes yellow items are completely useless Uh, a minion build, uh, a non-minion build for Necro, that would be the uh, nuclear bone Necro. So these are level 97, right? And any item that's dropping here right now is 925. So if I get a single ancestral item, I'm already happy. My minions are not dying. That's important. My minions are dealing damage for days. Jeez. Jeez. Okay. You can still make your yellows legendary, yes, but they won't get a bonus FX from it. So as you make your yellows legendary, congratulations, that, that, is, that is admirable. Um, you don't have anything from that. You know why my minions are not dying? 100% of my stats and I have 10,000 armor. <laughs> so, so that's like that's like a big point that, that, like, that, that you have to understand, right? I have now... 10,000 armor. I have now put all my effort in acquiring a lot of armor. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That almost killed me elemental damage wise. And that keeps me inevitably quite quite nicely alive. Okay, I cannot walk through this until this is gone. <laughs> Unless you have to wait for that poison to go away. Before that goes away, we can't advance. Advance! 
Okay, this is a little bit illegal. I'll say that. Chad, delete the VOD. We're not going to show this to Blizzard, okay? Chad, we're not going to show this to Blizzard. This is... We're going to keep this under lock and key, okay? No one no one needs to know that, that the progression is so smooth and good. Like, like... I, I, okay. Let's just pretend this has never happened. And we're not just flying through the levels here. Minions are acceptable. They're okay. Quite fine, but not too strong. So, so like decent. Okay. And I think more does not need to be sent. Because I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I'm pretty sure Blizzard is looking at Barbarian right now and they're seeing the Dust Devil build go completely crazy and they're like, this is fine. And then they're actually looking at the Necromons and they're like, wow, minions are pretty good. We should nerf it. <laughs> like, oh no. Minions seems to be working pretty damn fine currently. I guess we should probably nerf it before it gets out of hand. But that Barbarian, that Barbarian looks fine. I mean, now our general manager is actually playing Barbarian, so we should probably leave it like that, right? I mean, you, you know it's true. The moment the moment I heard that that their general manager is playing barbarian, I was like, well, you know what? Everything makes sense now. I'm I'm not a man for conspiracy theories. Don't get me wrong, Chad. <laughs> but but you know, I I can count one and one together. I mean, I know their general manager used to play Necromanza used to play you know what then happened after after the general manager played necromanza for one season uh bone bone necker got nerfed because it was too strong at the time it was actually very strong don't get me wrong it's still very strong yeah but bone necker get nerfed and then and then after that nerf the general manager started playing uh barbarian he hasn't actually played necker since then and since then, Necker hasn't gotten any substantial updates anymore. <sighs> Make out of that what you want. Do with this knowledge what you would like to do with this knowledge, okay? What's your stats? Which stats? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's 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 finish that tier 41 dungeon. The problem is I've gotten one single item so far. So in tier 41s, everything is supposed to be 925. By the way, that magic item is not 925, which is kind of scam. But yeah, in a tier 41 dungeon, everything is meant to be 925 because enemies are over level 95. Problem is that due to the lower drop rate, we're actually not getting many ancestrals right now. Feels like if I heart one of Force Ancestrals, I would have to... Oh! Oh, that's a good question. So, when do you usually do boss ladder bosses, guys? So, a boss ladder boss, you would usually do when you're level 75 to level 80, correct? Well, do you think we could kill Grigoire right now? With level 61? Chat, what do you think? I mean, if I can kill a Tomb Lord who's level nine. Oh my goodness. He's fleeing. Chat, he's fleeing. He gave up. He started a wholesale retreat. He wasn't having it. He's, just, he's, be, he's being mauled. And you know what? Like you have to keep in mind that this is all without the ring of Mendel, right? So we're we're doing this damage. This is the damage right now with without the ring of Mendel. So that's a 925 item, by the way. Maximum life, lucky hit chance intelligence. Thank you very much. Then we have a 925 chest, but we already have one, and we have 925 gloves right now, too. 
cool, right? Cap Bardu. Actually, we can go to Cap Bardu. Yep. Enjoying the changes. Oh, yeah. Minions will get nerfed. Minions don't need to get nerfed. Yes, minions are strong right now. Minions are doing very pleasantly well. Yet, though, Necromancer is not the strongest. Far from. So, yes, this is strong. Yes, this is strong. Is it? Is it the strongest right now? Pfft, no. Necromancer is not the only one who's quite insane right now. Let's take this amulet and we're going to put the... Actually, I like the 7.2% intelligence. I'm probably going to reroll the lucky hit chance because we don't need lucky hit chance that much with this build anymore. Total armor percentage. Look at me, chat. Boom, 11,000 armor. I'm going places. Now we could temper this too. Where's my tempering? Tempering. We do offensive tempering. Summoning finesse. Bam. 92.5% golem damage. I don't want that actually. 75% golden damage. I still don't want that. I don't want that! Stop it right now. You give me golden damage one more time and we're, 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 we're done. I hate you. I hate you. Is that you? Okay, bone spirit. Oh God, I got robbed. So we just we just break this item, Chan. This item get breaked. Um That's the that's the first time I've actually had an item break. So this is this is like this is like the the worst I have tried and I get nothing. It is it is horrible. This is this is not what you wanted to see. Okay, so we are 11,000 armor, 11,000 attack power, 6,000 life, correct? We're level 61. And we have the materials to summon Gregoire, the Galvanic Saint. Technically, we shouldn't face this boss right now because it's way too early. Usually, when I play the game, uh, what, what, what would I say? Right now, around level... Mm, eight, 75 to 80, I would, I would start fighting the bosses. How do you manage to give your minions 100% of your stats? Oh, that's normal. That's in season 4, that's normal. Okay. This is this is normal. This is the this is the way. By the way, I almost have enough distilled fear to go for the beast of eyes. That would be incredible. Mm -hmm. What are my resistances saying? Fire resistance max. Thank you very much. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? We're going to get our ass handed to us or not? I mean, I'm probably going to die on the first lightning damage here. Huh. I survived. Okay, minions, minions, go! More, more footwork, more energy. More footwork! More! Do it! Yes! Yes! Give it to me! The best part is like he's just dropping high high items right that's 847 so we can we can just replace whatever we have there even though it's shit then we have a weapon with 860 you get a 925 health from below i don't even need that <laughs> don't don't even need that but hey it wouldn't hurt to have what about lilith at this point now nah, for lilith uh, it's not even worth considering because she doesn't do anything for you right I mean, Lil Lilith doesn't provide anything. Necro is st starting to feel like Diablo 2 again. No, Necro. Wait, my wife is sending me a message. Check. Mm 
Mm -hmm. So, um, Necro is finally starting to feel like the other classes. What build are you playing? The build I'm playing is actually the one that I uploaded the latest. So if you check the YouTube that you're on right now, uh, and you're looking for this respective thumbnail. And the most interesting part is this one here. The... What you can do to the Skeletal Mastery. Because Skeletal Mastery, Warrior or Mage can be pushed extremely high. So yeah, what would I do right now? I would probably farm like tier 41 Nightmare Dungeons because we have just proven that we can, right? So that's what I would do. I would with level 62. I would just farm tier 42 nightmare dungeons and these tier 42 nightmare dungeons they would gradually push up my glyphs very easy and i would do that until until i have mostly like like all my 925 gear gathered and then as soon as you have your 925 gear gathered you can actually start doing the pit and start getting your first master working materials because i kind of feel like it doesn't make sense to do the pit until you actually do have 925 gear because if you if you do the pit before you have 925 gear what for you're gonna have master working materials but you have like nothing to master work right i mean you, you don't you don't want to master work your shitty gear you want to master work the good pieces of gear ah he's so simple i'm sadly i'm sadly getting like only shitty legendaries from him right this is kind of like sad right now this is this bitter chat this bitter only get his sad things maybe use an elixir for xp now nah, this this was not about like trying to use an elixir to weasel up more xp the main thought behind this whole experiment was now a simple how how fast is it I mean, we're four hours and 44 minutes in for level 62. Chat. I would call that a big W. So that level experiment now went exactly the way I want it to go. By the way, for the people that have not seen it. So this is this is the build when when it's leveling. Is the is is our Black River friend still in? We had like two, we had two or three viewers that had a Black River spare on the PTR. If you're still here, I would take it right now. So this is the build when it's actually equipped, okay? So we're having, we're having the Ring of Mandel, we're having the Ring of Sacrilegious Souls. We do have Temerity, and yes, we do actually have to play Temerity. Uh, well, what means have to? It just makes perfect sense to play Temerity, okay? Um, it's a very good item. Let me actually put this all here right now. Just sorting through this in time. So this is this is like how how it would look when we're going and we're currently doing 109 yeah so we're doing 109 pit already the problem again is you have to look a little bit out that you're not getting one hit so despite having almost 30,000 hp despite having um uh, like a, a 15,000 berry on top and all that kind of stuff we still gotta look out that we don't get one hit you're actually like you're summoning your minions and like if you look at the damage like you're, you're my minions are attacking vastly faster in this build right <laughs> you notice they're they're attacking quite quite quick and yes my corpse general size is screen so so my corpse generals here this is the this is the corpse general size look at that it's screen wide we call it the kraken It's, it's, I, I have to admit that at the beginning of this season, I was like, this is useless. This is actually not good. And I wasn't happy. But I will admit that having a corpse tendril that can literally pull everyone out of, out of a room. Like, like, 
You know, when you usually have big rooms with the Necromancer and it's a bit annoying because your Corpse Tendrils doesn't just simply pull everyone. Well, that's that's over. Your Corpse Tendrils just pulls everyone now. <laughs> like everyone, Where, wherever they're standing. Like it doesn't matter. Like they, they might they might stand three rooms over and it's like, oh, yeah, you know what? Like, it doesn't matter that you're three rooms over where you're still you're still getting pulled in. Like you're, like you're you're mine. OK, your ass belongs to me. this is then how how essentially the build efficiency wise looks in full level like we, we're we're still doing our corpse explosion to amplify the damage of our minions right because because what you're doing is you have the flesh eater node and the flesh eater node that's 40 percent damage multiplier when your minions are actually um when you're when you're when you're consuming corpses and that works like really really well and then on top of that, we're currently having 15,000 armor with a potion. We're almost at 16,000 armor. And we actually do get more armor for having the golem. It's really funny. There's a paragon node for that, which works really good. And I mean, this is this is right now, like, this is right now a random death. That's one of these random deaths we're talking about. Like, everything is going fine right here. 16,000 life, 26,000 life. Like, all the barrier going on, you just die. I don't know what I died to. I, I cannot I cannot reasonably tell you what happened there. I don't know if the if the minion attacked me. I don't know if there was poison. Like I I, I don't know. I could probably rewatch the VOD and still not be smarter about why I actually died there. So so that that's like currently the only nuisance, like despite despite being like completely, you know, resistance out and everything, like you you just don't know. I mean, during boss fights, it's at least you know that you died by the weird uh, spirit summons. Which I feel like, so I, I'm not sure. Have you played the pit a lot, guys? Can you tell me if you like the spirit summon visibility? Because I feel like there needs to be a bit of work to be done. Uh, since, since sometimes these red spirit summons, they are so overlapping with the rest of everything that I barely see shit and I essentially don't know what's actually happening. Like I have my minions, I have my big corpse explosions, I have my corpse tendrils, right? And then when the when the spirit summons are coming in on top of that, I'm kind of standing there and I'm like, well, what is even happening? I mean, that red one here is easy to spot and then you get killed by the other thing in the back. Personally, you don't find the pit super exciting. I mean, the, the only thing you have to do in the pit is get around tier 30 and tier 30 no, no actually tier 50 so you have to get to tier 50 because tier 50 is the perfect uh material wise okay oops uh. so tier 50 is the best one from a material standpoint and then you don't have to go deeper when i'm doing tier 109 and and there's no reason actually to do tier 109 we talked about this that doing a deeper pit than a certain level does not produce any benefits anymore because i'm already getting so much neath iron so I'm, I'm getting i i have like i have 5000 neath iron at this point right 5000 so more more is not going to give me more I'm not ready. see but by the way that, that's what i was talking about with like like so many things happening they don't actually know what's happening anymore a minions, could you please attack that boss? Thank you very much. And that was that was now the build in full full glory. One thing I can still change is so you see my pants, right? My pants doesn't have gems. So I'm missing 18% life, guys. I'm missing two gems, I'm missing 18% life, bringing me up to 30,000 roughly. And what I'm missing is that the temerity is an 80% temerity. Because right now my barrier is only a 50% of my max life barrier. That's not a lot. So if Temerity was now at 80% uh, and I would have my two gems in, then I would be like at 30,000 life with 25,000 barrier. And if I then still die to a one hit, I mean, that would be 55,000 life plus damage reduction. If I then still die to a one hit, then you know what? Fuck you, Blizzard. Because what am I supposed to do, right? What are you supposed to do?
Yeah, the puppies are copying your movement pattern. You saw it during the fight there, how, how things were actually following me around. So that can unfortunately happen. Armor, armor doesn't help for these elemental booms. So the actual energy damage one hits you're taking there, they have nothing to do with armor. Uh, armor is physical damage reduction, only physical, okay? Armor is literally just physical damage reduction. And that what you're taking there is not physical damage from these spells. That, that You get your resistances here. I don't have shadow resistance up, by the way. I am sorry. Uh, but yeah, at some point, you have to beef it by stats and damage reduction. That's what you have actual damage reduction for, like the 20% here on my armor. Uh, but as you can see, like how much damage reduction do I have? Okay, so I have the 20% of my armor or 25%. Then I get another 30% damage reduction from the golem. So I currently have my golem sacrificed uh, like here for blood. So that's 50% damage reduction. Cool. But it's actually it doesn't add up like that, right? So it's not 50% damage reduction. It's someone in that direction. Then I get another 4% damage reduction if I'm fortified. Then you get another 10% damage reduction if you're fortified because that's fortified. And then I get another 10% damage reduction when I'm fortified. So that's all the damage reduction I get when I'm when I'm like existing, right? Uh, then I think there was another that was bonus damage, that was bonus damage and movement speed, and that was bonus damage. Uh, then I just get more armor. So that's essentially the damage reduction I'm rocking, and I don't have anything else. So so like I can't I can't get more because when we're looking for the tempers, and I think there should be a damage reduction temper, right? You have blood, profane, we get dodge total armor maximum life, and we get resistances, correct? So I don't have an option at this point to get more DR. I think shields have damage reduction, if I'm not mistaken. So I could technically... Yeah, shields have damage reduction, so I, I could technically get a shield, right? And I could get more damage reduction via a shield. Uh, but but that would mean that I would have to put away another offensive aspect just to play a shield. Right? I could use a unique item, so don't forget unique items is an option too. So I currently have... I currently have this one it's a it's a greater affix deathless visage that would give me another 10 percent damage reduction but see i would literally need a unique for that correct and, and that's kind of like stupid I, I can't be needing a unique for this so yeah, I, well, so I could play the Blood Moon Breaches. The Blood Moon Breaches will give me damage reduction too. So, so yeah, you know, like, because it gives me bonus damage reduction. Oh, and I forget, guys, on all the damage reduction, I get Decrepify. Decrepify is actually a 20% unconditional damage reduction. And it's actually not a damage reduction. It's better than that because um, Decrepify has enemies deal 20% less damage. Which is actually better than damage reduction. Because, so the thing about damage reduction is that damage reduction is, uh, how do you say it? Like I have 20% and then I have 20% and then I have 20%, but every other 20% you're having is, it's like more like 20% of 20% of 20% than it is 20% plus 20% plus. Does that make sense for you, chat? So the more damage reduction you have, the less it gets. So it's not like that you stack five times 20% and you have 100% damage reduction, okay? It's it's more that you, like, like it stacks, it, it counter stacks up, okay? And that's where Decrepify is actually good because Decrepify, again, is not damage reduction. It's the enemy deals less damage. So it's then the enemy deals 20% less damage and then your damage reduction kicks in. Does that make sense? And it's unconditional. So as soon as this is on the mob, it's good. I mean, even, even having multiple ranks in Decrepify can be nice because it boosts the damage reduction up. 
Diminishing returns. Yes, I was looking for the word diminishing returns. Thank you very much. Tight pens. Thank you for the 48 months. Yunsu, thank you for the 14 months. As very appreciated. Good to have you there, gentlemen. But you still get one shot even those activated. Yes, so everything I just counted up, all the things I just put together, despite all of this being active, I still get one shot. <laughs> so, so despite all of this working, we're still getting one shot. Mm. Now, we got to think about what what build do we want to do tomorrow, Chad? Okay? I've been looking at all the augments. I have a bunch of augments, correct? And I want to I wanna try out some things. I'm not sure if I want to try out blood because blood doesn't have anything crazy interesting, right? Blood is just still overpowered currently. Uh, we have the summoning augments, so we tried this out. Uh, we have bone augments. Bone would be a full bone spear build where you can go for bone spear projectiles cast twice. So you could literally enchant this on here and here, and you could get a 30% chance for a second bone spear, which is actually quite crazy. The problem is for bone spear, you need Littlest Wall. Correct? That would be useless. Uh, we have Shadow Augments. Shadow Augments is not uninteresting. Um, Shadow Augment would actually be for... What is it called again? My brain lost what I wanted to say. Desecrated Ground. Yeah. Then we get the then we get offensive right if we want to go for offensive that would be on four items possible and you could go for bone finesse where it actually says bone damage bone damage is any bone skill it's actually kind of insane but what i want to try out is bone spirit damage do you see this chat if t bolts will no i sadly don't so this says 135 percent bone spirit damage now let's keep in mind chad bone spirit does 4% more damage for each point of essence you have, okay? So the more essence you have, the more damage Bone Spirit deals. It currently does a base damage of 15,000. It's quite easy to pump this up, but right now with 100 essence, Bone Spirit is already doing 400% more damage. 400%. And now you could temper. Now we could temper items to give us on four items one two three four another 400 percent bone spirit damage plus and that 400 percent it's additive though times 400 percent or 600 percent if we get more essence right it could be so much it could be so much another utility we have profane mobility we have necromancer motion I mean, this is just essence regeneration. Do I have the bone spirit aspects leveled? Bone spirit. Oh, I have them. Look at this chat. So I have the shattering up. What? The bone spirit damage of shattering can go up to 500%. And this one goes up to 25%. So this one is still working, right? So we have bone spirit critical strike chance up by 25%. And we're currently sitting at a comfortable 40% critical strike chance. So that 40% critical strike chance together with uh, Corpse Tendrils, which brings it up then by another 24%, uh, plus the critical strike chance of Inspiring Leader, because that's the interesting part. Inspiring Leader is not popping right now. So we have a 50% base critical strike chance. If I then add the 25% from Grasping Veins, and then I would add the 25% from the Codex of Powers, then we are at 100% Bone Spirit Critical Strike chance. That means our Bone Spirit always critical strikes. And if Bone Spirit Critical Strikes... Does it not, like, instantly reset, more or less? Yeah, if Bone Spirit Critical Strikes, its cooldown is reduced by 7 seconds. And the cooldown is already only 11 seconds. So we could technically machine gun Bone Spirit. I mean, this is yelling for Ring of Sacrilegious Souls, Bone Spirit build with Corpse Tendrils, Corpse Explosion, 
uh, Blood Mist. And we would essentially just Blood Mist around, Corpse Explosion everything, make Blood Mist more corpses to then Corpse Tendril things automatically, to then Bone Spirit Explosion things, Decrepify Curse to have the cooldown reduction happening, and potentially just add a Bone Storm because we simply can. And we would not even play a core skill, right? Oh. Huh. Sounds like this could work. I mean, for this, I would probably uh, make a secondary character, though, because we ha that's why we have so many characters. So we would take the um, next best dude. So I don't have to ruin my one character, correct? Let's see, how, how would this look, skill tree? Uh, one, two, then we go for maximum essence here. We don't go for corpse, we probably go for corpse production. Uh, this, we put, pump that one up because we still want corpse explosion to go crazy. We go for ghastly blood mist. <coughs> corpse interaction, more damage. Uh, movement speed, we go for bones, uh, that for this five points into bone spirit um we probably would have to go for serration into all cr after critical striking 10 times with bone skills your bone skills deal increased damage fuck this wouldn't work this would work because um Bone storm. Right? Play bone storm. Probably sacrifice all our minions. We would still go for more critical strike chance here. Serration. Does Bone Spirit still have the effect that allows 400% damage? Uh, but Bone Spirit does that from alone. <laughs> Bone Spirit does that from alone. Doesn't even need anything to do then. I kind of do want to play Decrepify for the cooldown reduction. Mm, I currently don't have Hood Flash. Hmm. I'm sure I want to crepify. How does my skill bar look like? My skill bar is the noog. The bone storm. Bone spirit, noog, blood mist. Okay, so all, all abilities taken. But I'm not I'm not vibing with this here right now. So do we do we need the evulsion and do we need the compound fracture? Maybe we just say fuck compound fracture to save these two points so I could put one in here. We just want the evulsion for the damage multiplier there. Hmm. Well what to do with one single point then? One single point seems so ass if you have it. Technically, we get 5% more armor and thorns, so we just do more damage, but that would make sense. Uh, do, do, do. I mean, more essence on, on using corpses. Then you refund this Paragon board, and we would currently go for... Step one would still be corpse explosion damage, so that one wouldn't change. One would be corpse explosion damage for the bonus bonus bonus. 
Fine. Then we still go for Flesh Eater to have the 40% going on. No, actually, we don't need this. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we can go for Bone Graft because we obviously want... You know, this would be more bone damage, so that would increase the damage of our bone thingy. The Essence Glyph for more critical strike damage, so we can critical strike even harder. Then you could go for more um, bone critical strike damage, so my, my bone skill would hit even harder. And more bone critical strike damage. Plus... We would go for Essence, 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 and Essence. So we get like just more Essence in total. Okay. Then you could go for Send of Death. For even more critical strike chance. No more critical strike chance. And we would go for, <coughs> that's Essence, that's Exhumation, that's, oh, I forget, Amplify there. Or corporal for more physical damage. Mm, what do we go for here? Are we damaged by healthy? I actually did like Territorial. I often use this as a nuke. So I'm going for Territorial. I can always go over this one. Yep. That works quite fine for me. Actually, through this. It's activated. Yep. Mm. We're just, we're just throwing shit at the fan and seeing what sticks here right now, right? And then lastly, we would go into Bloodbath board because on the Bloodbath board You could get damage while fortifying But and then yeah, exploit because I can activate that easy. Okay, damage while fortified. That would be the vulnerable damage multiplier, right? I still have 15 points left. Jesus, I, I haven't had 15 points left in, in a while. I don't even know what to do with these 15 points left, Chan. I can actually do something interesting where we... Where we just get a little bit more stats and some things. Yeah. We we'll make ourselves more tanky. Okay, so that would be the corpse explosion, 131 essence, bone storm, decrepify, something, 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 something. Okay, how much how much damage will we already deal? Just just out of interest. I mean, right now, I have just absolutely shitty gear, right? I have nothing going on. I have just a 14% critical strike chance, so nothing out of interest. Oh, it's a 400k just for the YOLOs. I need more time. Oh, I need to actually sacrifice. Wait. You just sacrifice the golem for the 30%. That's 400k. I like that. Uh, what is our resistances saying? Our resistances are actually 70 out. That's interesting. That can't be. That would allow me to go for more critical strikes. And we can do the Skelly Mages for 
Well, see, this is a 15% damage increase, right? And this is 15 more essence. 15 more essence is 4% more per essence, so it should be more. Correct? And again, every point of essence, 155, is 4% more damage. That was 700k. <laughs> I mean, again, this is this is just like the the mere basic, right? Without without like having all the multipliers, multipliering, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so that that's that's basically already working. I can never improvise when it comes to Paragon boards. Well, I've done thousands of Paragon boards already. Uh, like it's you know, I've been at it for a while. Okay, let's see. We need an offhand. The offhand needs to have critical strike chance. Okay. But what do we want? Like damage, critical strike chance, something in that direction, correct? Do we want essence on kill? No, we want maximum resource. Yes, yes, yes. Maximum resource is actually what we want. True. Uh, because this is something that I didn't mention yet, but it's actually really, really insane. Because the amount of maximum resource you can get is illegal. Yes. You can get an illegal amount of maximum resource. <laughs> I like that. Okay, the rest of the equipment can be trashed. Then we're going to take this one to reroll the resource cost reduction because we don't need that into pack speed and do critical strike chance. Sure. And now you would take this piece of gear and temper it and we go for bone spirit damage yeah so we have to re-roll this now until we get i mean this is bone damage which works right but bone spirit damage is way higher so i want bone spirit damage the problem is as you're attempting this you could brick it right i mean i have how many tempers left right now uh let me go for bone augment Bone Spirit Explosion Size. Hmm. Sense for Bone Spirit to cast five. Bone Spirit Explosion Size. Cool. We got that. How many tempers do I have left? Two. Ah. Bone Critical Strike Chance. And bone damage. Well, see, this is like that. Now we have the maximum that we could get reasonably. Uh, we get critical strike damage. So we're going to keep this one and I'm going to try to temper this too. Bone damage. Bone damage. Bone damage. It feels weird at times, right, chat? Bone storm duration is actually nice. Just like that. Bone spirit damage. Thank you very much. So we get bone spirit damage now too. And now let's let's look at the damage. Okay, so so bone spirit does 10,000 here. And if I put the item on, we're at 33,000. But that actually doesn't count because I take the weapon off right now too, right? So, but it's a lot of damage. Uh, we need gloves now. Uh, do I have more obolds to roll? Need some random glove here. See if I can find some gloves. Uh, core skills, nah. Lucky hit chance, nah. 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 Kind of sad. Maybe one of my other characters, wait. Because, because I have like the all the other characters here. Uh, we have gloves. That is damage over time, critical strike chance, and armor. I mean, I need critical strike damage. Hmm... It can roll critical strike damage, right? Yeah. No. 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 I don't want my money anyways. I feel like sometimes it's absolutely impossible to get what you're looking for. Okay, that's the gloves. 
good now we could already enchant the gloves with um bone spirit so we need the swelling curse right that is the 25 percent damage a critical strike chance so we're currently at a critical strike chance of 40 percent uh this one needs to be grasping veins And this one needs to be... What else do we need, Sean? Mm. Hmm. I'm like... Hmm. This was always the thing with Bone Spirit that you don't have that many aspects that actually make the build better, right? You can actually take a serration, right? Wait, ossify key passive also increases the critical damage of your bone skills. Yeah, we need that actually. Okay, yeah, serration, serration. Okay, so we get serration too, Chad. I mean serration in that. Let's let's see how how much damage will we end up with now. Let's go for the Bone Spirit. Bone Spirit is a core skill. Ah, oh, that is a good question. I didn't think about it. Bone spirit counts as a core skill. Oh, you're right. I forgot. I forgot. The mastery skills are now mastery. They're core skills now. Oh, interesting point of view. So we're currently at a 841% critical strike damage, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we would multiple target dummies, elite target dummies. So what I would do is I would make some corpses. Bonus, activate, and then, boom. Was that 4 million, or did I see that wrong? It was It was hard to see. It was either 400k or 4 million. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Uh, we go in. We curse. We do this. That was 1.5 million. Problem is for optimal damage, we need five corpses exploded and then 5 million. Okay, that's, that's good. That's good. Nothing master work, Chad. Nothing gone crazy. We have reached 5 million damage already, okay? So, so we're, we're, we're not there yet, correct? I ha Didn't I have gear that had maximum resource on it? He had some weird ass gear flying around. I mean, that ring was insane. That had critical strike damage, max life intelligence, damage and resource generation. So we're going to take this one. Um, that one, the essence per second. That was the essence per second helmet. I could actually take that one if I wanted to. Uh, that was essence on kill. There was just bonus damage, like no tomorrow. It was essence. Two to macabre skills. Doesn't 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 thingy count as macabre skill? Still. The macabre. So if I have a chest with two to macabre skills. That would be two to bone spirit, right? <clears throat> Critical strike chance and damage. I oh, know we are going to actually take the ring of sequely just sold because I'm lazy. Mm. Wow. Lucky hit. I want essence. And right now I should probably take these boots because they give me essence per second. So they would like faster get me up. Right. Also master worked a little bit. The fire resistance can be rerolled into movement speed. Can't really. Oh, actually, can get movement. Uh, wait, 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 wait. 
this can actually get bone spirit i just see that it can get bone spirit up to three rings i'll probably never get that my problem is currently that i'm running out of resources again can you see this guys i'm at 900 um veiled crystals bone spirit boom i'll take that okay that's two more ranks in bone spirit that would then put us already at nine ranks in bone spirit at 46,000 damage base that's interesting so we're we're going places now we get even more critical strikes so we're at 900 critical strike that's good well we could probably just temper this one now with the bone finesse bone damage brain bone critical strike chance bone spirit damage thank you very much and utility is i don't care what you get curse duration yep so this one this one is now interesting so we have forty six thousand, right and that's another 124 percent plus so from forty six thousand, we go fifty nine thousand. that's like yeah fifteen thousand damage plus thirteen thousand damage plus and we can master work this and the interesting part about master working now is there is a chance to get that bone spirit damage higher correct so if i'm lucky bone spirit damage higher <laughs> So we're suddenly at 65,000 bone spirit damage. Not done though, because we can take our... Do we want to keep the amulet? No, the amulet was shit. Okay, we need we need a different amulet. Um... Don't have like any interesting amulets flying around. Fuggity fuggity. Maximum resource. Yes. I take everything back. <laughs> okay what aspects can you roll you can roll terror embrace gloom imperfectly compound avulsion hellbend amplify fueled uh the life per hit needs to go away for total armor yeah sure we'll take that no more armor percentage okay now we can temper this one to offensive bone again bone critical strike is bone critical strike damage worth it interesting because right now critical strike damage with bones is multiplied with our critical strike damage in general so could bone critical strike damage actually be worth it over the base damage of just getting that higher interesting question not sure I don't want resource cost reduction. I want. Oh, doesn't matter. We can reroll that later. So we can now temper. I need more opticide. Because we can now temper the things. Because if I temper the things, I get more resource. Because that, that's the crazy part right now, correct? So we need more resource to, in general, um, be able to. Knight, thank you for joining as a member to the Knights of the Round Stable. That's very appreciated. Happy you choose to membership it up here, sir. Appreciation. Essence on kill for big groups. No, we don't need this. So the, the intriguing part is if I temper this now, this does currently 12 maximum resource, correct? So we hire this. We hire this. I mean, it's only 5%, but if I hire 5% often enough, then we end up with another 14 resource correct now we can take this one too masterwork 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 and masterwork so suddenly we are here to add 17 resource uh we got this one this one that one and we need to re-roll the thingy into something else so what can we re-roll the thorns into Anything but thorns. Leave it at that. Need something for and you temper that one too with a defense. And we could do... 
and it makes no sense to temper it with anything else but but like maximum life or armor or anything to be honest i usually go for total armor and everything right not dodge chance dodge chance is by the way they really need to reduce the the cost of resource for this because we're right now like it's just too expensive to really to really reroll often right okay master work complete master work complete okay now now we are currently at seventy thousand bone damage okay we're at nineteen thousand life we're at nineteen thousand armor so not that much when i could probably just enchant juggernaut on my pens that's what we need to do we're just put jugger i mean, i actually don't know if i keep my pants oops uh we are gonna take the ring I can take this one and it needs to get bone spirit because we had the what was it called swelling curse yes wait not swelling curse what was the other what was the other bone spirit thing you called again resource shattered spirit aspect shattered spirit okay Now let's see where we're at, Chan. So we got we got the um 42% critical strike chance. And if I go in here, I get another 25% critical strike chance bonus, okay? At a 10 uh, I'm at 54, then I get 25 on my bone spirit and I get another 19% for corpse tendrils. Okay? That means if I Was that 20 million? Or did it just look like 20 million? That was 8, eight million. That's for sure. 10 million? Yeah, 10 million. Okay. Um. Did, did, did we see a 22 million there? But that was an overpower crit that doesn't count. Uh, what would you say? What kind of dungeon could we do from a, from a difficulty standpoint? I think Litless Wall is mandatory for this build. So I would I would need Litless Wall. I sadly don't have that. Um, let's just do a tier 70 just to get the vibe in. What car is world tier 4? I'm not on world tier 4 currently. your resource gen oh my my resource gen is simply um here uh bone spirit hits and just gives me resource for hitting things so so that's actually how it's working Because what you would do is you would like curse, you would play like this, right? You can go in, you can just pull everything together, curse them again. Bone spirit explosion doesn't kill everyone. Yeah, that this this killed everyone. But again, like this is why I'm saying you want to have the um. So I'm saying you want to have the I need more time. Um, bo bone bone storm on perma cooldown because it would just it was just work the best right if, if I now had the the littlest wall it would just work perfectly I like I like how this just simply works, you know. We need the ring of sacrilegious souls from other character. You need barrier, yeah. I mean, we're like right now, this is this is not done. I just wanted to see how the how the gameplay loop would feel, like if you're actually doing the damage for real to enemies, right? I 
I mean, it's it's working. That's that's for sure. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Damage. But we still have to smoothen out the gameplay loop, right? Ow, there's too many enemies. See, that's where the barrier has to come into play. For sure. Like you would do this, right? Then you pull everything together, and that's what the Ring of Sacrilegious Soul is there for. So that would happen automatically. Oh. Everything died. I don't know where you went, but you didn't go anywhere near my opponents. Kind of a bit weak. Uh, I mean, it's definitely working the way how, how I want it to. <laughs> Just nuking things, right? Uh, oh, we need to kill him. That's true. <laughs> uh, in mind that like at the same time while we're doing this right there would be a constant um there'd be constant corpse explosions happening due to the ring of sacrilegious souls so right now it looks clunky correct I need more time. i'll probably also not play this as a level build i think this is like something you do later on right Because we're, we're, we're right now not playing a core skill. Right? So this is a core skill less build. Which can feel weird for many. Chuck a Necker, yep. Good old Chuck a Necker is back. Oh, that was a 20 million. Did I see that correct? Just out of the house without any preamble? Just looked like it. I wasn't sure. So fast level 100. Uh, we we took four hours today to get to level 62, John. So our our level experience was four hours to level 62. It was intense. It was insane, and we pulled it off without a single hassle or problem. If we would add black river to this build then on top of the actual damage we're dealing already we would just have black river going on huh this is this is like my thought how, how could you how could you streamline this build right i'll probably just add black river to it because i have the aspect slots correct like i have the aspect slots free boom you just randomly add black river to it does anyone have a littlest wall he doesn't need, Chad? Does anyone does anyone have a littlest wall by chance? Guess that that would help. And I could move the corpse tendrils to the amulet. Play the littlest wall. Yeah, something in that direction would probably work. Mm-hmm. And right now, right now, if you look at all our items, we still have so much open, right? We can we can still vary in things. I mean we have the chest aspect completely open. So we could go for people go for like a bunch. Damage reduction. We can put Shielding Storm on it, right? As we have Shielding Storm. Uh, there is... Undying, but Undying is not needed. 
Uh, if you can trade uniques, can we trade Ubers? No, you can only trade uniques. So if you have if you have one on the PTR, if you would have like if you have maybe a little as well on the PTR, I'll I'll, I'll gladly take it. Appreciation. Uh, we could play Embalmer. That's an interesting thought, Chad. Uh, let me try to find a good pair of pens right now. Like I don't I don't have a good pair of pens, so let me let me whoop out a good pair of pens. What do I have? Uh, pens. That is life per second thorns. No. Uh, I don't have pens. I mean, the one pair pair of pens I have here, the p p p pair of pens is weird. Tunic, sword, focus. Where's pens? Uh, intelligence, max life, bone splinters. Mm. What can it get? Lightning resistance into decompose, hemorrhage, reeb, bone splinters. Oh, it really can't get anything. I mean, it can get resistance to all elements, which is actually interesting. Right. Here, resistance to all elements was not even bad. Right. A ring of sacrilegious souls. I have a ring of sacrilegious souls on my other character, so I can just trade that over. So that that should not be needed. But thank you for offering. I'm running out of crystals. This is very bad. I'm going to be out of crystals and I can't be doing things anymore, Chan. Oh, right now I'm getting robbed here. Thank you, Corpse General Size. Now we could master work this a little bit. Let's try to master work four times. Uh, I need more up to sign. See, this is by this is by the way what I meant about I have enough resources, so I can make two thousand five hundred Ingolith caches, guys. Yeah, I mean, veiled crystal cost is bullshit. Uh, like, even if you leveled, even if you leveled, like veiled crystal cost needs to be addressed, needs to be fixed. Um, we, we can't be constantly running out of Veiled Crystals. The problem is as well that Veiled Crystals are being used for everything. But like everything is using Veiled Crystals right now. There, there's like, there, yeah, it's it's really, it's an actual existing issue, right? Um, that, that needs to be talked about in my eyes. Okay, so we can, we can do like millions of this is 74,000 right now so that's the bone damage we are uh, over 200 percent there yellow gear yes yellow gear the only reason why yellow gear exists and the only reason why we have yellow gear is to go here and then turn them all into veil crystals uh that's the only reason they exist but still though This is not enough. Wait, no, uh, I need, um, do I have steel? Do I have steel? Mm, how much steel do I have? What about Banished Lord's Talisman since you're losing a lot of essence? Nope, we're not doing any overpowers. That is not, that is not acceptable. I don't have steel. I still fear though. How's everyone enjoying the PDR and the upcoming changes? I like it a lot. I think it's pretty damn fantastic, but there's still a lot to do. We're we're on the right track. Blizzard did some good changes, but as we just said for for the um for the example of oh come on brain say it what do you want to say i'm 
I'm gonna punch you. I'm gonna punch you, and I'm gonna I'm gonna punch you in the eye if you don't say it right now. Yeah, veiled crystals. The problem is that veiled crystals are at this point being used for everything. So they're, so they're not being used for something. They're being used for everything. Absolutely horrendous everything. Okay. And that's a problem. Because the veiled crystals are being used for everything. And you'll never have enough no matter what you do. I mean, and not are they only used for everything. The, the, the cost is just too damn high. I'm not sure if I want more essence generation. Currently. What's your thoughts on the Tormented Beast of Ice only dropping the summoner material for a Daryl? That's a bug. I, need more time. I mean, it's, it's clearly a bug. The normal Beast of Ice should be dropping the summoning materials. You know, it's, it's a PDR. Some things are bug. I am pretty sure that it's not intended because that it wouldn't just make no sense at all. It's funny that we can currently essentially spam. Our own spirit. <laughs> very satisfying. Chat. Very satisfying. Nuking nuking a whole board of nerds with click of one button has something to win. That was a one hand. That was almost a two hand. Cool. if you like the build uh feels like running around until you get the cooldown on bone spirit mm, no because so so the main the main idea is that you're actually going to be using the ring of sacrilegious souls to with the blood mist continuously be getting yourself in like um corpses corpses and corpses so you're you're have like corpse explosions running on and you could essentially function as a corpse explosion build and the bone spirit is just there for funny nuking right And you have to consider if we had the Littlest Wall, then you're consistently having the, um, then you're, then you're consistently having the, what's it called again? Bone storm going on. So at any point you're essentially running around and you're just making bonus bone storms, right? And these bone storms are making new bone storms that you're essentially just bone storming around. Ah, it's just it's just beautiful no matter what they say do, 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 do. what you could change though is you could add a core skill okay so we could either put bone storm out for a core skill you could put course corpse explosion out for a core skill or you could put the decrepify out for a core skill that's an option both things there but right now i'd say ladies and gentlemen that was us experimenting today with a leveling leveling was super fast and super fun high recommendation uh, <coughs> i'll be making a video about the pit tomorrow so we're going to be talking about the pit and you can give your input on that one 
uh, we'll be having a video coming on this Bone Spirit build. There is something on tempering and master crafting in general and some other shenanigans. Okay. Why are you running the crap of Iron Maiden is way better? That is wrong, but it's okay to believe that Iron Maiden is way better. Thank you, though, for your input. Uh, thank you all for coming and watching, looking and chatting, hopefully having a good time. And I'll see you all tomorrow again, same time, same place. Yeah. Tomorrow, no, wait. Tomorrow's Saturday. I'll see you all on Sunday again. Same time, same place. Have a good time.